All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. And as I welcome you to this new vlog, may I prepare you for the adventure of a Tom and Ken lifetime. Now, it may only seem like I've been back home for like a few days, which would be true because I have only been back for a slither of time and I'm going out again on another adventure. But this time, possibly for my biggest adventure yet, with me dad so it is currently five to nine in the morning i have the most amount of stuff i've ever traveled with on a trip ready and packed in anticipation for me dad kicking down the doors and saying it's time to go i've got mountain bike equipment i've got hiking equipment i've got camping equipment i've got bags full of electronics i've got everyday clothes i've got a swimsuit and by swimsuit i don't mean like a sexy like bikini and thong no i've got a full like weathered thermal uh, wetsuit for going swimming in the ocean with and then all my clothes ready to go in the camper van hey would you look at that look who's turned up right on time it's the one it's the only it's Papa Ken! <laughs> Don't have a heart attack. I am awake. I am ready. You look like And I am packed. Dog tags on, I see. I'm ready. Oh, Are you ready? You must be excited then. Yeah. I am well excited. Look, I've got all my stuff waiting and for the you. Sun's the sun's out. The one thing we're worried about is that this trip is just going to absolutely piss it down with rain. But it's going to be Tom and Ken's adventure. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited, lad. If you guys are ready to join me on this journey, click subscribe. Now, but in all seriousness, when did you ever think you'd come to pick me up for a trip? And look, I've got everything waiting at the front door for you. <laughs> you are late. It's <laughs> usually the other way around, but I'm ready to go. Right, I think I've got all the key essentials we need to get in the camper van. It's time to uh, move in. I like how I've got the smallest cupboard. I'll look in the next one to see what's in it. <laughs> Core essentials, oh, I like it. As I'm unpacking everything and putting it into my little cupboard, Lydia left me a little note. Love you to the moon and back. To Tom, thank you for the best summer ever. So many amazing memories. And there is no one I'd rather share them with than you. I hope you have an incredible week exploring Scotland with your dad. Send me lots of pictures. Miss you already. Lots and lots of love, Lid. Oh, that is so amazing. We won't talk about that. You ready? Yeah. Right. Let's hit the road, man. Goodbye, household. I will see you in one week when I return a Scottish adventurer. Damn, boy. Is he, is he just, are, are you doing that? Are you? Really? This is how this trip's going? <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> this is how the trip's starting, is it? Oh, it's better than that. <sighs> oh, it does get better than that. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, mate. <laughs> We're starting the trip where all trips begin. The petrol station to get fuel. Now, I have to ask this. I said, Dad, have you got enough snacks for the road? He said, oh, I've got some bits in there. We've got two bags of hula hoops, some Werther's Originals, some fruit pastels and some mints. He's done now, it's done, do you? Carry on. <clears throat> I'll be right back. <laughs> What do you mean we don't have enough room? Are you stupid? <laughs> you stupid! We need a bigger van. <laughs> hey, listen. Tell me you're not happy that I bought these. We need a bigger van. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go. Now he's happy. Just look at that view. Just look at that view. <laughs> Hero montage. <laughs> First leg. Very, Very good. Breakfast time. Welcome to what could possibly be one of the best service stations in the world. T-Bay, the home of food, pastries, and coffee. Oh yes. Pick as many items as you want, select it all, and it's ready to go. Nim. And I'll uh, take a coffee for the road, thank you. <laughs> now, there's a reason why T-Bay is so nice. It's not just because of the really good food, it's because of the location. Look at this. This is bloody lovely. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about. <gasps> not bad, eh? It's not warm. Not bad. Coffee for you. Coffee for me. And oh, yes. <clears throat> Couldn't help myself. 
Oh, that's one of the best sausages I've ever had in my life. That is actually that good. <laughs> Look at him, he's like a he's like a lost child. Nice shirt, Ken. Where'd you get that? Where did you get that? Also do it in white. No, no, no. T Bay Food Services. What are we getting? Listen to me, that sausage is that good. We've asked for more. Look at that. The proper ones, the breakfast pork sausages. These are 10 out of 10. If you are ever here, get them. Oh my god. Look at that selection. Wow. Supplies for the road collected. The steed looking beautiful. How long's the next stint? Two and a half hours. All right. I know my role in this camper van, and that is being the DJ. So enjoy a bit of a montage. Not of copyrighted music, it was driving there. We're on the road again. And would you believe it? We are officially. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oi, oi. We're in Scotland! Now go put yourself in Scottish accents. <laughs> Dad! Oi, oi! <laughs> oi, oi! I thought you were going to say something like Scottish, you just went dead oh, silent. Chibis, you're watching, you're traffic, you're watching, yeah, you focus on the road. We're in Boston, Scotland! Honey, Scotland, lad. We are here, we are ready, and we are prepared. Get your winnie hidden and your whiskey out. That is what it's about. Welcome to Glasgow. Yeah, we're in Glasgow, man! We're in Glasgow! <laughs> and we're in Calendar! Ooh. Very nice. Ken has put in some serious driving today, so it's time for a coffee and cake. <sighs> this looks very, very nice. Hey, good driving, lad. Very impressed. And I'm very impressed at your find. Yeah, it's not bad, that is it. It's not a bad view at all. Damn, son. Cheers, my boy. Day one, Cheers, successful so far. Oh, it's very nice. That's one of the nicest lattes I've had. Mm. I'm used to a vanilla shot, not honeycomb. Mm. Mm. And a bit of lemon drizzle cake. It's absolutely gorgeous yeah. just to sit and chill and take it all in for a second. <sighs> yeah? Description's ready to pick up. Yay! So I came prepared for this trip, packed everything. However, Ken didn't. Forgot his prescription eye drops that he needs to put in every day without fail, didn't you? So I just said, why don't you go into the pharmacy there and see if you can get what you need? And they were like, oh, we need to ring your pharmacy in your local area and see if we can get it. I just got the phone call to say he got them. They were like, you should not go a day without these drops. So the fact that we were about to go on a week adventure and he didn't bring them with us and he thought it'd be fine was a no go. I was like, get it done and we're on to a winner. Look how happy you are. Oh. He was like, my trip's ruined. Happy now? Oh, man. I am so relieved. Let's get there before they show up. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, my dad's just gone into the pharmacy to uh, get his medicine for his eyes, and um, I've ended up in a weird shop. Um, not quite fully sure what's going on here, but um, I found this thing. Okay. Mm. And even more okay. It's mad. It's the head from Harry Potter and then the spine of a monkey. Hey, it's a bit weird in it. I found the legend of Boris, the headless wanderer. <laughs> so you had a good time in the pharmacy? That yep. is honestly one of the weirdest little shops I went into. It was an antique shop and then she went, oh, you can go in the museum if you want for free. I'm not sure if I regret it or, <laughs> or what. Calendar, lovely. Very, very nice. We may be back on the way back to go in that river that you saw and get paddling along it. But next up, Glencoe. Glencoe. Is this Glencoe? This is Glencoe. 
Glencoco. This is Glencoco. Okay. And this is where we're looking to camp for the night. Yes? Uh, yeah. If we can, we're going to try and stay here for the night. Hey, look at that, they've got little hobbit homes. That's kind of cool. Oh, good driving, Dad. Oh, what a location. I feel like I'm back in like Iceland or something like that, or Canada. These views are insane. Like, honestly, these are absolutely normal, dude, and these are on our Scottish doorstep. This is what we're looking for. Mm. So tomorrow, if we camp up here or wherever, if possible, on the road, somewhere over there, we can come and rent a bike from here. Okay. We've just been inside there where Kenny's at the bar. Good lad, getting two pints in. Or oh, I've just uh, <laughs> left him as the bill came. Cheeky bastard. But we find out we uh, we can indeed rent bikes here and it opens at nine o'clock in the morning. So 55 quid for half a day, actually. So that seems perfect for us. And I'm thinking we can put the bikes on the chairlifts. Looks like it. And then uh, enjoy a bit of riding here. Wicked. And even better, um, they've actually said we can park up in the car park that they've got here and just throw some money in a donation box and lo and behold, we can stay the night. Cheers, Dad. Beautiful. I thought I'd left the mosquitoes in Canada. Canada, lad. No. They are rife in Scotland. I think you brought them. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> but we are prepared. Wearing a coat, <laughs> got it all over my legs, and I'm probably still gonna get burned. So I'm not defusing a bomb right now, but I am being stared at by this little bird like, what the fuck are you doing, mate? Basically, we've realized that the fridge isn't working because of this connection. So basically, in the middle of the car park, before it goes dark, we've got the hammers, the tools, and everything out to try and get it fixed. I nearly lost a fingernail, didn't I, Dan? <laughs> it was hammering on the side of it as I was holding it. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way, because there's a can. All right, moment of truth. If I turn this, that shouldn't flash. Oh, it's solid. Yes. 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 Every time I was flicking it, it kept going, duh, 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 freaking out. Way. Way. What? There's one lesson you should take from this. Where are your freaking tools? Where are your tools? Where are your tools? Yeah, thank God I brought a bloody bottle opener. <laughs> there's my tools. Yeah, and if it wasn't for mine, we wouldn't have done it. <laughs> your beer's on the wall. My beer is completely empty. And if, if I look over there, my dad's beer's just chilling on a, on a fence. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. this, this man needs to get his priorities straight. Time to celebrate the success of getting the fridge working with another beer. Hold on. That sky. Beautiful. What is for tea tonight? Salmon. Salmon. Prawns. A boiled potato, if you want. Or... I've got some steak. Salad with it. Do you want to have tonight? No, no, I'll have the salmon tonight. Look at that. I'm having a bloody life of luxury. Ken, I'm usually not with you when I say this. Go on. I I'll just, I'll just pause and you can say it. Just look at that view. Yeah! It's better when he says it. All right, it is time to set up the camp. And oh my bloody God, it's just gorgeous, mate. Gorgeous. Now, Ken's left the panel off just in case it's not working. No Please. flashing lights. No? <laughs> yes! We have a working fridge. Have a working yes! Fridge. <laughs> I'll have the alive. What do you take to make a man happy? A working fridge. Cold it's beer. the simple <laughs> things. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let's get set up. Get us the best location on that car park. I can't so it does actually say no overnight parking, but for full clarification. We're about to blow up. She legit said we can park here as long as we put money in the honesty box. And if I have to be honest, I can't see a box. <laughs> well, I need to get a good picture of well, the <laughs> this guy with that behind him. Well, that's going to be the sunset. <laughs> so we'll sunrise over there. Okay, <coughs> okay. Here we see a Ken deciding whether or not <laughs> we are flat and level for the night. Is this home for night one? I'm like emerging like Jim Carrey out of a rhino's ass. Jesus. 
that was something to get through. Ah, Ken doesn't mess around. He wants the ultimate camping experience. So we're, we're looking at the level and he's got the platforms to put the uh, camper on. Because you know what? When we watch this sunrise in the morning, oh, look at that. We want it to be beautiful and straight. <laughs> Literally, day one, already an amazing trip. I can't believe we were literally hammering the side of the van to get, to get. Can you, can you believe we were hammering the side of the van to get the cable working for the Tell bridge? me when that's level. Yeah, well. <laughs> Keep going. Slow, no, well, you've gone over it. You were very close though. I what are you doing? You're gonna use a slate. What are you doing? Oh fuck you now, one sec. <sighs> Ken's had an idea. <laughs> Genius! We want that view. Yeah. Are we level yet? No. <laughs> That's actually really smart. He's moved the camper so when we open this in the morning and we make breakfast here, we'll see the sunrise and enjoy that view. Should I, hey, should I quickly go and, go and grab a load of the, the, the slates and put them here so people don't park? I think that's a good idea. Sabotage. Okay, an adjustment later. It, it, it's not like perfect, but good enough. Good enough. Because ah! <laughs> we're on stilts now, the step, the step is like 10 times as high. Bloody hell. This is gonna be the best sight. The best sight? Yeah. I think I need a quick time lapse of this. Just some clouds moving. Cause it's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> Camper van life, John. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is, this is on the Look line. at this. Absolutely cuisine in it. With a view like that behind us. This is camper van life, mate. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> hey. Hang on. <laughs> will you just will you just look at that view? Oh, I uh, tell you what, you're fronting on them now, Dad. Well, so go on, Chef Ken, what have we got? We've got fresh uh, prawns, yep. salmon, oh. boiled potatoes, tomato, lettuce and cucumber. And Incredible. Peroni. Boom. There we go. Look at this. I'm uh, filming on the GoPro right now because that time lapse is still going and that looks incredible so I don't want to interrupt it. Yeah, dude. This is next level goals oh my god oh nice one dad look at this <laughs> this is brilliant this is hey oh he had one job one, one bloody <laughs> job get to the bar literally oh my god one job sorry <laughs> yeah we're liking it oh yeah <laughs> what did it get, mate? <laughs> Should we take this as a take two? <laughs> Cheers. Are you ready for this? Cheers. Oh, oh, you behind? Uh, don't worry about it. Good as it gets. And I tell you what. Oh, oh no, I'll say it. You? I'll, I'll say it. Would you just look that at that view. view? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good drive up. Good driving, well done, seriously. Bloody hell, day one, man. Oh, this looks good. Well, I hate to say it, mate, but um, that's a sign of a very good meal. Is it not? <laughs> I've absolutely cleaned the plate. I'm John. Lovely. That was yours. Whoa, don't think so. One each. But, ah, what, because you don't want it? <laughs> don't each can make you. No. That's why I can't see mine on the plate. Yeah, really good. Nice one. Yeah, top one. Am I cooking tomorrow? <laughs> Dad's like, no. No. <laughs>
No, and the sun has nearly gone down. No. Nearly. Just. I'll stand the cooking, you can do the restaurant. Mm, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good deal like I've got at home. You, you, you do the food at home and I pay for when we go out. I do listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what me and Lydia do. Lydia pays for the food in at home and I pay for the food out. It's like a really good setup. Too much information. Tom. No, no, cheers. That is a very... Too much information. That is a very good deal. Some more. Amazing. Oh, really? Absolutely amazing. Lovely dead. Nice one. Oh, I'm just saying this right now. I'm hoping that was good because dinner was absolutely incredible. We are chilling out now in the camper van. Ken is setting us up ready for night time. Are we ready? Yeah. I've just finished uh, washing the pots in here and uh, about to dry them off. And Dad is... Oh, double bed arrangement! We sorted, mate. <laughs> We're top and tailing, which means as soon as he farts, I just have to smell it out of his sleeping bag when it vaporises out. But <laughs> it is what it is. But I tell you what, this is the sleeping setup for the night. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. And the sun has gone down. We just got to really hope that tomorrow the weather holds up because the clouds are already coming in, which is a bit insane. But yeah, we got a plan A, which is no rain tomorrow. We go ride and we're chilling. But plan A gets even better because not only are we going to ride, but you see that mountain that I've been filming all day, we're going to climb that as well. Yeah, a bit insane to be fair. But if it rains, uh, we go to plan B. Which, do we actually have a plan B? Yeah, plan B. We'll ride, ride round the valley, out of Glencoe. Yeah. We'll paddle boarding in the lot. If it rains, we go to the water. Oh, oh by the way. They, Plus, plus whiskey distillery. Oh, and, no, I said that. And climbing wall. Oh. Some bees sounding pretty good right now. <laughs> but yeah, no, I hope that turned out great. And I tell you something, with this tripod, I could do crazy shots like that. Boom. Kind of dizzy right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Day one. I've already fallen out with Ken. Pissing me off, I'm leaving. <laughs> Joking. Don't, don't try to find. I'm gonna go and try and find a toilet down in Mother Nature. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I guess that's why they say don't stray too far from the path. I'm back. What are you doing? <laughs> why are you, why are you <laughs> I fell off the edge of a cliff. To don't be honest. Wait. I really like. did fall down a cliff then. That was <laughs> something else. No way! This is, a, oh. this is Ken's camp. No, no way! We're watching the mountain bike tra trail videos in bed. In the, oh, oh wait, 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 wait! Put your beer at one side. Look at that! We're preparing. Look at that! We're preparing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Dad. Day one. Cheers. Preparation. Great success. Flipping heck. Absolute bloody vibe. Me and Ken, chilling in bed. Mighty bike videos. And beers. And beers. And on that note, I'm going to say this. Cheers. And good night. <laughs> See you in the morning. Oh. Wakey, wakey, Scotland. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome your faces to <laughs> Ace Ventura Tom Cassell. What's going on with that? But welcome your faces to the base camp of Glencoe Mountain Range, where your boy is starting day two of my week long camping adventure with me dad. Now we've got to start this day in our crocs because we're going to the toilet block, just having a, having a quick morning refresher. And then we're going to have breakfast by the camper. And I think we're going to go rent a bike from over there and then hit the trails. Of which if I zoom in, hey, you can see the first people getting on the actual, uh, I wanna say gondola or whatever it's called, going up the mountain. Currently being eaten alive by mosquitoes, so the quicker I run, the less likely they can bite. <sighs> nice. And that is how you have a toilet block shower. Even though there was a shower I could have used there for a pound. <clears throat> I forgot my money. And may I introduce to you 
the millions of mosquitoes that are now about to eat me alive. There's absolutely freaking millions. Blech. I like how I thought you'd be dead proud of me for having a toilet block shower when you're like, Tom, <laughs> we have a full shower in hot water here, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Beautiful. Breakfast. All right, we've spoke to that chap and the guy who runs the shop is currently up there going for a ride, so we'll hopefully see him in a few minutes. <laughs> That guy just told us that the mountain bike guy's coming down and I look like this. I put mosquito spray on, but there's just billions. And just like that, here he is, the trimester, the bike rental man. Dun, 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 dun. Here he is. What a job. Work the work the actual bike rentals, but get to ride in between when no one's here. Love it. All right, beautifulness. You will be mine. All right, we are now transformed. Ken's on the bike. I'm in full riding gear and I'm being eaten alive. I know I can't stop talking about it, but I've never seen so many flies. Even Canada wasn't as bad as this. Ah, oh, so to you, sir. So to you, sir. Very nice. I think we shouldn't be riding with full face helmets, but instead with one of them on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get a going. Let's get a riding. Cheers, brother. <laughs> all right. And away. <laughs> we go! I made one big rookie error this time and you notice I wanted to wear my goggles but because I wear glasses now it's a bit like oh bollocks so I'm like squeezing my glasses into here but I think I can actually get like a set of lenses for my goggles that are prescription which I need to get done so a bit gutted that I didn't do it this time around I just forgot and here we see cameraman Ken taking pictures of me <laughs> sort of sort of but yeah um whatever you do bike don't fall off because you will cost me a few thousand pounds in rental fees thank you very much odds on me bailing on the first corner <gasps> no way ain't happening <laughs> oh boy this is gorgeous I didn't realise this was uh, included as part of the adventure up the hill. Beautiful little waterfall down the side of the mountain. Update, we are getting there. Up relatively high on the mountain now. Still got quite a bit to go though. Just keeps, just keeps going and going and going. Every time you get up the mountain a bit, it just extends. Madness. I'm really not trying to tempt fate, but I'll tell you something, that is some fag rolling again <laughs> at the top above us. Look at heck, that cloud is just rolling down the mountain. <laughs> it's nearly go time. Thank you. Zoom, zoom, motherfucker! All right, let's do this. Oh man, we're getting down it faster and faster, but I tell you something, my arms just feel like absolute steel, not in a good way. Got these mosquitoes. Like the arm pump of your muscles constantly going. Do, 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 do. Wow. You can tell he rides more than the other because I'm like out and he's like, I'm fine. <laughs> what amazing timing. We've just got back to the camper, setting up, getting ready for some lunch and heading off. And it's just started raining. Hey, hi fine. Very nice. <laughs> Glencoe Mountain, you were lovely, but now you're about to be horrible. So, from the mountain to the man of the hour. Come oh the hour. my gosh. Eee! This looks good. This looks good. Dad. Dad. Oh my gosh. 
Norman, he's with us. No way. So for context to that, my dad said that when his dad passed away, he always sees this Robin everywhere, don't you? He yeah. follows you everywhere. And it's like, oh, it's my dad, you know, he follows us around on our adventures. And I'm just sat there and I just look to the side because I hear somewhere. And he's, a Robin's just not flown, Robin. walked in the camper van. Oh. And we didn't bring it with us. To Norman. <laughs> And now to use the facilities. <laughs> Enjoy. You gotta put your quid in. Five minutes on the clock. Enjoy. I was gonna jump in the shower first, but um, I have to wash the pots. <sighs> Lovely. That is um, one hell of a sound. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Okay. I think it is indeed. Hit the road time. All right, Glencoe was a winner, right? Absolute. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I've now found myself just absolutely chilling out <laughs> until the cloud just came over the sun here on this lock. <laughs> Kenza just pulled us over real quick just to enjoy it. And just taking a bit of a chill and some sunlight. Because this really is stunning. Wow. And welcome to the rock throwing championships of the world. <laughs> Coming up is Ken Kersel. Two. Damn, son. Three. Three. Oh, you're improving. Okay, okay. One. <laughs> and this is where I stopped filming. You're doing great, Dad. You're doing great. I love to let, I love to let him come and play out in the wild. <laughs> Hold up, he, he's, he's demanded it be filmed. He thinks he's got one that's going to do 21. I think about five. Okay, five. I think it was about five. Close to 21. <laughs> Not quite. Well, Ken thinks he's... Whoa, he has! He's found a jellyfish. jellyfish. Wow. It's not quite the size of my foot. That is mad. You can touch the top of it, can't you? Why? Whee! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Got his ass! Gail is not going to be happy. <laughs> You've caught crabs. Oh man. But he has been eaten alive, hasn't he? Poor dude. Right, here you go. Watch that. <laughs> you can't skip a crab's head, Dad. Hold this. I'm going to try. What I've got. Oh! Oh! That was pretty good! <laughs> Yeah, right, go on. Watch this. So, by the way, I don't think this is going to do too well, but it is of... One, two... I said it won't be that good. Dead. Is there a heron there on that rock? Yeah. Oh, it's not an heron, it's a cormorant. Can you even have killers? Look at that, eh? See, I care about you and your bird watching. See, look at that. Happy man now. He's seen a bird with his binoculars. <laughs> They're zooming. Absolutely zooming. Yeah, probably missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fort William! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> and it just started raining as well. Oh my gosh, we made it! And this is where we find out how much it cost us to get here. We haven't finished getting here yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're only just getting started. How much? Bloody hell. Not very fuel efficient you on the, on the pedal, are you? <laughs> Under, under and three pound to get us, well, plus the 20 quid. So, under and 23 pounds to get us from Manchester to Glencoe to Fort William. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to apologise to that couple because I nearly climbed in the camper van. 
Because that's where we parked and pulled up the fuel and he's moved there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude! Have you ever just climbed with that couple's camper van? I saw you. <laughs> what do you mean I saw you? Now, whilst my dad's doing responsible things like filling up the water that we have inside there, hmm, I've bought kindling. So that if we find some big logs, we can like this and then throw the big logs on it. Genius man. We've been pretty lucky, haven't we, of like when we've been out of the camper, it's not it's not rained on us. No, you're bringing it up, yeah. Literally just went in Morrison's to get a crate of beer and boom, the heavens opened. I know we're eating good food whilst we're on the road, but yeah, as a yeah. backup, just in case, I got some of these. What's wrong with steak and onions? No, no, I actually got an onion. Steak. Is to the front door then? The burgers. We've got burgers in all here. Flip it. Imagine if we were riding in this now. Or hiking in this. Oh my God. I'll take a Moretti in a beach, won't you? Oh my lord! Hey, it's bloody going for it! <laughs> I think this is Mother Nature telling you to get, I can, to go pack yourself. Are you alright driving in this, I'm yeah? Off. I'm alright, mate. You're a beast, lad. You can't, you can't see anything now. There's absolutely... Oh, no, I know, right? There's no... You can't see any of the view. And you can only... Oh, no, I know. It's completely gone. And you can only see just a bit ahead of you. Flipping heck. They weren't wrong. Look at the colour of these sandy beaches. Mate, the most sandy than when I was in Cyprus. Wow. How is this Scotland? Flippy neck, man. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. <gasps> Amazing. Right, we just pulled up. Shout out to our boy, Cameraman Rick. That's literally what we call him. He recommended a place called Mora, I think it's called. And look at that sand. Oh my gosh. That is like being abroad. Wow. That, that is unbelievable coloured sand. Do you want the view? Or do you want the so we can either pull up there by the side of the road camping for the night, or we can go back further around and see the full coast because right here you haven't got like much of a crazy view apart from the beautiful sand all right kenny's all for reversing back there and just tucking away from the tree so we don't have the rain drip 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 dropping on our foreheads and i'm going checking out the sandy beach oh there you go a bit of oh no oh no no fires but i've bought wood <laughs> ken's doing his thing <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. This is very nice. And tonight we like to call this steak a la golden beach. I'm doing the seasoning. It's going to taste very good. There's not enough on there just yet, so don't don't be judging me. And then we're going to somehow cook them both in this thing. <laughs> it will happen. If I do say so, sir, this is coming together very fast. Steaks are nearly cooked. Glasses, of, uh, glasses out for the wine and boom! Got a bit of a Porta 6 for the uh, the drinking today. It's a tough life. It's a good tasting steak, isn't it? All I can say is, <laughs> camper van life, mate. Cheers. Hang on, let me do my hair Oh, stop it, you little cutie. Thanks for the invite, brother. Appreciate it. This is lovely. Room with a view. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous. Mm. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Chin, chin. Look at that, eh? Straight out from having a steak and going for a little stroll along the beach. You're not going to be able to see anything because it's pitch pocking black. Oh, where is it? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Oh, get it, get it, get it. No! It's toad. It's toad. <laughs> I, I was going to say we're not going to be able to film anything. It's too dark and you've just, you just caught a toad. Put him away. Wow. Oh, yeah. See you later, bud. <laughs> You're not... You you never know what's going to happen in these vlogs, bloody hell. If I turn the torch off and you walk along this, your feet appear like they're almost glowing, you know, because the look how it reveals the... Look at that. Dry, dry sand under yeah. yeah. Wow, that's weird, that. Wow. The, the, honestly, it looks like you've got glow sticks coming off your feet. <laughs> I've absolutely just added a shocker. I couldn't okay. tell that that was the water there because I didn't have my torch on. I thought that line that you could see was the, the water's edge. So I just took a foot step in and that's all water. And I've soaked me croc. Bollocks. Well, when your crocs are wet, Kim. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That is so clear. 
Look at it. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. No way Dad spotted a crab. Wait, I've got to fucking like zoom on me. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, did you find me a crab today? <laughs> ah, he's having me off with his one arm. I just caught myself a crab. Wow. Hey, well, teamwork. You, you dazed him with the torch. I caught it. Wow. I, I spotted it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, wow. Look at him. Oh, brilliant. Wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a great success. Yes. All right, let's put you back. I got you, mate. Here you go. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye. So, I'm just here on the road and my dad's out there walking around with his torch, which is crap. And I'm like, Dad, you do know I've got a mag light in the van. And he's like, well, what are you fucking around with? Go and get it. And as I'm walking back to the car, I found a toad in the road. Go on, my boy. Come on, quick, before you get run up. Come on, go, go. I don't want you to get hit by a car. <laughs> go on, you fat bastard. You're like me in frog form. Go, giddy mow, giddy mow. <laughs> Just for the record. Go on. I've got another crab. No, you've not. Go on. Bats. Oh, no, you can't add them. You've not caught it. Bats. Yeah, okay. Hang on, you didn't catch a, you didn't catch a deer. Oh, fair. So, add it to the list. Where is it? There. Where? You just scared him off. No, I haven't. Okay, keep watching. He's just gone in there now. He's always in here. Big one. Look at that fish. Look at that there. Look at that. Yeah, I see it, like a shrimp. It's a shrimp, yeah, see it. And it's all... Oh, that! Yeah, oh, it's white eyes! Yeah, shrimp. Yeah, there! See it? It's just hit itself. Oh, yeah, my it's God. That, it's literally tucked itself underwater, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Watch. Wow! All right, go on. Point your, point your torch at the trees, then. Over there, go on. No, not at your face. <laughs> You're going to <laughs> kidnap me. Hang on. Go on. Get to bar, John. <laughs> <laughs> You've not been to bar, have you? You were saying? Well done. Getting a lot quicker than I did see. Hey, listen, that's all I can say. I've got one job, and that Hang is. On. What about a bottle opener? It's a Twistled. Oh, <laughs> you it fucking idiot. Idiot. Wait, point your torch that way. Let's just see how far we can see with your torch. What do you mean? The brightness of it, you mean? Yeah, go on. Point it that way. Hang on, at least mine. Go on. Is that it? That's it. That's it. You ready? Magalite. Yeah. You can't see that far. What? Fucking can. Well, hang on. You can. Here, yeah, show it on the deck there then. Yeah, look at that. What, what? yours mine just versus it. mine? Wow. Why did you bring that earlier then? Well, I didn't think about it. Oh, there you go then. <laughs> you I did like it. how you were like, what are you pissing around with? <laughs> just go and get it. <laughs> I've managed to successfully walk through this without getting my shorts wet whatsoever. <laughs> I pissed me phone. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, turn around. <laughs> You absolute idiot. Hang on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that probably explains it, to be fair. <laughs> Look at this. Just walking in the wild and using the torch. Look, this is what you can see. And then with the torch, we're just guiding through the water, which is crystal clear, towards where we're camped over there. Amazing. Hey, that's a crab. That is a crab. Here. <laughs> I was trying to show that other one on camera. You couldn't see anything. Look at the size of that. For context, there's my torch. There's the crab. Wow. Look at his eyes. What do you mean not that big? All right, let's see how this goes for that. Oh, you've lost him. Yes. Oh, go, go on, lad. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> As if you fucking yeeted him. Are you, are you getting him or not? Oh my god, that's so funny. Get behind him. I'm gonna. You've seen me do it several times. Well, I taught you how to do it. Yeah, you probably did. Yeah. Wow. That's oh, look at this. Yeah, he's got, got both claws. Look oh. at the size of that one. Yeah, he's got me. Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow!
Don't worry, what a beast! Oh, the joys and the luxury, eh? Of coming, <laughs> of coming okay. back, of coming back from being Steaming in the ocean hot water. to now washing our feet in a beautiful bucket of sink of hot water. <laughs> Alas, I don't think you can see anything at all. I'm going to put a picture on screen now of a, a picture of the stars that I took as a truck goes by in the distance. And that is mine and Ken's farewell till the morning. So, you ready for bed, lad? <laughs> well, no, he's wrestling the rooftop. <laughs> we'll see you guys then. <sighs> like magic, eh, Dad? Look at this. Just look. <laughs> well, I don't want to look at you getting run over, but would you just look at where we have woken up in the morning. Now that is the golden sands we were talking about. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I've got my bowl of cereal, a cup of tea, and I'm heading down to the water. Wow, filming this last night in low light did it no favors whatsoever. <laughs> wow, that is incredible. Beautiful. All right, time for Operation Inflatable Kayak. Let's see if this thing works. Zip, 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 zip. Okay, 1.5 PSI. Set to it. And away it goes. Nice. It's alive. It's alive. The convenience of an inflatable camper van is that like, if you don't have a big car going places, it's really good. You just pump it up outside it. But I was saying to my dad, if we did actually have a really fixed bodied one on the roof, all these places that we've been, you could just quickly grab it, throw it in, grab it, throw it in, you know what I mean? Really, really convenient. So it's the convenience of space versus convenience of timing, because like, you have to pump it up and deflate it and stuff. So I'm really excited to see what it's going to be like. Fingers crossed. Mm. It's done. I know. Look at that. Flipping heck. It's a big old boy. Absolutely brilliant, eh? Look at it. <laughs> Not bad. Operation get every waterproof item out is a go. And uh, I am currently ready to go kayaking. All right. I'm hoping my uh, hands-free system is going to work. <laughs> I've got a set of like swimming goggles, like diving goggles with a GoPro mount on the top. This is the setup. This is where we're going, and we're going all the way out to sea. So, yeah, hopefully, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. We could do it Canadian style, with two of us. Yeah, if you have one each, by either side, we probably won't get as much water in here. On the road again. <laughs> Look at this. It needs a jet engine when you've got Ken. <laughs> This is brilliant. Look at that. Just where the horse is on the side of the river. So beautiful. All right, don't worry. I'm back to helping. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Wow. Wow. Those horses are floating in the water. <laughs> Are we beaching? Oh, look how shallow it is. Oh, we've beached. We've actually beached. Yeah, go around, okay. Well, I didn't think we would be doing this already. It's so shallow along the water bed, like the, the ocean floor, that we're actually on foot walking across it because the actual fins are getting stuck in the sand. Say again. Tides out. Look at this, man. Flipping heck. Unbelievable. So nice though. We're headed out to the danger zones now. We are getting past, hey, well, a shipwreck over there. <laughs> but we are getting out of the little lock that we were in over there. And we're heading out to sea. Hey -oh. There's no way this is Scotland, mate. There is no way. for the zoomed in camera angle so we can see everything like that beach for example yeah, yeah. 
We go for it. <laughs> Cameraman Ken. What do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful. Oh no, we're gonna crash. How close from beach are we? Oh, these rocks are looking mighty close, lad. Oh my god. I feel like we're in the Titanic dodging all the icebergs. Port! Starboard! Starboard! Do you know how to tell the difference between port and starboard? In the, in the word port. Starboard. Starboard, right? So, to tell the difference, left has got four letters in it and port has four letters in it. So, port is left, starboard is right. Going in it. Okay, we'll look. Green. Huzzah! Oh, you idiot! You idiot! You absolute idiot! <laughs> Bye, Dad! <laughs> oh, amazing! Alright, I'm out as well. I feel like I'm gonna break my bloody neck. These rocks are so slippy. I've pulled us up, and here we are. Ken's gone for a wander. Can't keep me footing! Look at that fist! Look at that man! Yay! Look at that view! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, what the heck! Oh god, that is um, disgusting! Little ticks everywhere! Found a bunch of bottles and some rope and a tub. Oh, it's everywhere. Humans. We're just nasty, man. We're just nasty. We found grass. And an open abandoned land. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Whoop. I feel like all I do is take you guys on adventures and be like, wow, look at that, wow, look at that. But seriously, wow, look at that. Everywhere you look, man. Everywhere you look. Look at that. Like literally like my dad said, I just found that in like 30 seconds just in these rocks. I'm just gonna check if the uh, the boat's still there, Dad. <laughs> I can confirm we've not lost it yet. Dad, on this note, <laughs> I found a bone. I think we should get going. <laughs> <laughs> um excuse me, sir, is there a, a reservation for Sorry, Tom? Yes. Table, table for two table for two. Can I, can I join? Yeah, help yourself, sir. Look at this. Boat's pulled up. Amazing little, they've done some distance. Oh, well, yeah. Right around that very corner over there, all the way through into every like nook and cranny. And now for a uh, sausage butty. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, sausage butty. Very nice. Not a bad spot for a picnic. Look <laughs> at this. We're on the edge of it. We're on the edge of it all. Brilliant. And hopefully with the tide, when we go back, it's just going to take us in way faster. So we'll just zoom. Kind of want to jump in though. I think we've got to give some props. The boat. Great, isn't it? So far, as far as we're, we're aware, it's not going and going down. Neat. We've packed up our campsite, made sure we've got everything with us. We're about to head on in home because the water uh, is starting to get a bit choppy. It doesn't seem it right now, but a minute ago it was like, whoosh, whoosh, and it's all rising up and we can see where the water's gone up to this like, line here. So we're about ooh, to uh, head out of it. However, thank God we're not using a bloody compass oh, so right, to look where we're going. So if I come here, right? yeah. that points north. Right, keep watching right, go over there. Apparently, this rock's just filled with iron. Look at that. Yeah, that's mad. Look at that. Imagine if you were trying to set a course. You, <laughs> it's going from west to east. Make sure you go true north. We were going north, but it changed. Wow, that's mad. Here so, the, what is it? Iron, iron in the rock? Iron in the rock, yeah. You bastard. Minecraft, though. Mm. <laughs> Good, help yourself.
Dad, I found another one. Look at him. Little green one. Hey. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. Tom and Ken's epic adventure. Right? Isn't the boat falling off? <laughs> it's raining! Well, you won't get wet, will we? <laughs> We're filling up, lad! We're sinking! Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> oh, this is too funny! Go on, lad. Okay, I've not got this chest mounted. I've got it on my goggle balance. Oh. Alright, the quicker we get home, the quicker we don't sink. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> well, you know, some things in life, Dad, you just gotta, just gotta put your feet up and say it is what it is. If we sink, we sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, shut at you. I'm, I'm here, I'm helping. You ready? Speed! Come on, Dad. The quicker we get back, the quicker we don't sink. We're almost there. Almost there. Good boy. I can see the van. I can see it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well done, the boys. <laughs> oh, I just enjoyed a nice relaxing ride home. Uber Ken, Uber Kayak Ken, thank you, my friend. All right. Whew. See, there's the big ones that, that you stick on the top of your roof, and this is the convenient ones. Go on, beaches, Dad. Go on. <laughs> Look at that. Five star rating. Go on the boy. I've nicked his kayak. Look at him. Off he goes. I've bloody had it. Look how fast it is with one person in. Bloody hell. It's nimble as anything this. Look at me go. What bloody beast from the northeast? I'm break turn. <laughs> Could enjoy a day on this. It's chilling, crate of beers. Lovely. I love how we were on that three hour adventure. Our tables and chairs are just still there. And yet the kayak is actually slowly floating away. So I might want to go and get it. The HMS Nitwit, I'm going to call it. For its maiden voyage, did us absolutely proud. Hey, listen, I caught it. It didn't go anywhere. I know, look how much it's come up already. Madness. I left my life jacket in there, which is now like drenched. I think, I think that's where all the rainwater went into my jacket. And now we drag it up to the camper van so it doesn't get sand all over it and uh, let it dry off and deflate it. This is how you get sand off your toes. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> Didn't know cows belonged in the sea. Oh yeah, some salt. Whoa! Oh, these guys do not care at all, do they? Flipping heck. We're on the hunt right now for our next stuff over place for the night. And it is one heck of a windy journey for us to get there. So I'm now just chilling out the driver's seat window because Dad just went, I've just seen something, I'm stopping and I'm going looking at it. And out he's got. Mate, what have you seen? Is it a shell? Wait, what? No way. No way. Oysters. What? Wow. Oysters. Dead. Flipping air. Dried up. But massive though. But them are oysters. In fact, you should smell it. Oh, that is fishy. It's been dried out in the sun yeah. today. How the hell did been, you just spot that? That's been washed up on the beach. Look at that. Oyster wow. shells. That is crazy. They're huge. Aren't they good? Yeah, well done. You shall not. Look how fluffy that cat. Pet that cow. Pet that cat, oh mate, just put your window down. Look at it, it's a baby. 
Oh, that is cute. Oh, the kayak, they've pulled up near the people's kayaks. What are you doing, Cal? People are in there, aren't they? Move. I missed the joke, Dad. Yeah, you, you know what you should say? Yeah. <laughs> Move. 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 Oh, they're cute. Look at this view. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Right, we were going to park there, but instead, Ken's backing it up into here, and this is going to be home for the night. I think this will do nicely, Dad. I think this will do very, very nicely. And I hear by the decree of the British claim this land as my bar. Mm -hmm. I've got, well, to be fair, I'm drinking a Guinness. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're the United Kingdom, eh? This is now me and my, mine and my dad's bar. I've got drinks cooling off in the water because it's nice and cold. And this is where we're going to chill. Lovely. Fair play to my dad. He's actually just spotted a seal, which is not going to show on camera. You see that little dot, that black dot like there. Oh, see, it's gone. It's just diving into water. That's, still there. That's a seal. Still there now. Well, you found a seal. Guess what I found? Look at him. Or oh, caterpillar. Caterpillar. Chilling on my shoulder. Totally not mad, but me and my dad had an entire one pound bet on as to who would see the first seal. He had binoculars. It's kind of got to be cheating. I don't think our beers are cold, cold anymore. I've seen it, yeah. <laughs> I saw it tide. The bloody tide's gone out and left our beers just chilling on the side. Oh, that's annoying. Well, you know what? They're actually very nice and cold now. However, the bag's completely ripped and uh, they definitely were in the water. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. You saw nothing. All right, we're on uh, kitchen duties now. I'm buttering bread. Uh, Dad's got some sort of a barbecue thing going, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain in the slightest because this is stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. I'm a happy Happy man. I'm a happy, happy, happy man. Wondering why. Stay there. Stay there. I said stay there. If you're wondering why I'm happy being in the smoke, it's because it's actually getting rid of the mosquitoes. And I'd rather smell like a burning fire and lose my eyesight and my lung capacity um, than have them piss me off. So there's a solution to every. Problem. Yeah, let's try to see if something rhymed. There's a solution to every problem. There you go. Isn't that right, Ken? That's right. You actually look like the Grim Reaper right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, less intimidating because <laughs> they look like big eyes. So for course number one of the night, with our beautiful view, we have Tea Bay pork pies. Mm. Which... Honestly, I can't take it, taste any pork in it. It just tastes like pastry. Pastry. I was just about to say, is it a Don't bit in, much fresher than this. Is it a bit inappropriate for me to say no. our food has arrived? Oh, actually. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was a bit mean actually. Look at these guys just cruising down the road. They'll be coming. Round the mountain when she comes. Odds on me going petting one. I bet they're coming here. You reckon? Yeah. Nah. Wow. Dad, would you look at that view? Time to panic. <laughs> and would you look at that cow? It is a fluffy cow, by the way. It's totally a fluffy cow. Look at it. <laughs> Alice would die if she saw this. I want to see if I can go past it. Oh, is it going to boot me? Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm not trying to scare you off. I'm trying to go past you. Oh, yeah, they're just cruising through. There's loads of them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look, look at them down there being like, is it safe to pass? Is it safe to pass? However, it seems that um, we've kind of, we've kind of got our own pet one. Hey, we have really found a gem, haven't we? Yeah. Seriously. By the way, shout out to this guy in that camper van because when we stayed last night, we bumped into him this morning and he recommended the spot. After we'd bumped into him the day before. After we'd bumped into him the day before. <laughs> what are you doing? I've got the lantern. What are you doing? 
It's a torch. Do not drop that, man. It's a torch. That's what's cooking our dinner. Here we are with Ken Cassell in the Olympic ceremony, <laughs> bringing the <laughs> torch. How's that? That's... Well, I am man. I, I I bring flames. I'm very impressed. I don't think that cow behind you is impressed, though. I know the view's going to go I, a bit. I don't think he's impressed. We could sit here and get that view or get some sitting. Yeah. This rain will pass. Whoa. Whoa. Did somebody say time lapse? <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Look at that. No, even more. Look at that. It's like a laser beam just piercing the ocean. That is crazy. Damn. There would have been a full video and a time yeah, lapse. Got to, you're making the sunset there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there would have been a full video or a time lapse, but I think there's a good few moments in life where you've just got to. Put down the camera and chin, chin. enjoy the moment. Chin, and this is one of them. And that's what we just did. Look at that. That groove armada at the river Look on in that. the background. And we just watched the sun go down. Watching the rain coming in. And the rain is coming closer. So good shout on moving uh, the camp over to uh, the camper van because it is wet. What an absolutely stunning, stunning location. Cannot believe we managed to make it here. And look at these guys, <laughs> they're still wondering, what the bastard are you doing, lads? You look like you've got, you look like you've got hairy feet, lad. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many of them. Fucking, oh, I'm not trying to spook you. Fucking hell, like, don't cream in your hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. The chef has been officially fired. One burger, two burger, three. <laughs> Let me go and see if I can find the fourth. <laughs> it's there, you muppet. <laughs> I, you had one job One job <laughs> I, I think I can safely say that's yours mate Salted Oh yeah, oh seasoned oh, shit, Scottish seasoned mm. The next day oh. Now that is a very nice view to wake up to this morning. Do you remember that that milk ad, Cravendale, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the milk and, and the fresh milk <laughs> and the cows want it back? Yeah. Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> Just had a nice little uh, shower by the seaside. Um, it involved a bottle of water and a bottle of shampoo. This place has been absolutely epic. But it's time for us to uh, hit the road. And where are we going now? Mull. Mull. The view was beautiful here, but the cows were better. Goodbye, salutations. What you produce is tasty, so thank you and goodbye. Them the veg, good oh, good veg. that's so cute. Them a clown. Hey, there's the Highland cows, the big horny buggers. Look at them. Hey, we found you. There's loads of them. They're so fluffy. Just on our road adventure to get us to the ferry to get us over to a place called Toba, Toba the Road. And it is indeed a very windy single track road. Lots of stopping, but we'll get there eventually. And this is where we need to be. Left turn to the ferry. Next sailing is 1.45. So that gives us time to cook some food, chill out, enjoy the views before we get on a boat. Yes. The ferry is here. And these are the treacherous seas that we're going to be crossing on the Loch Tar Tarbert. I think that's what it's called. Humans. We're, we're incredible. All right, mate. Our first ferry of the trip. Ooh. Hey, we kept the front end. Yes. Yeah, he looks like he's got a ticket machine. I think we pay him. 
Or her, sorry. My bad apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Well, I don't, you know what, I didn't check. It's how long it takes to get across here. You need to go up there, mate. You need to go up and get out here. Oh, ca can we get out? <laughs> yes, please. And all right, we've uh, paid the lady. We're on the ferry. I think we can just go up. I feel like I'm on the, uh, the staff side, which I probably shouldn't be on. I think I need to go over there near the chairs. But hey ho, there's Ken. There he is. Hey! Wow. Wicked. Oh no, I found seating. This is great. Ooh. Ship staff only. What? There's a kitchen. A full blown kitchen on board. I gotta say something right now. It stinks. Wow, it's smelly. Very journey completed. See you later, my friend. What a legend. And here we are in Tobermory. Is this where Balamori was filmed? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's really oh, what's the story in Balamori? Wouldn't you like to know? 99% sure I just got that song wrong. Uh, childhood <laughs> Ruined. Oh, is that it? Like the coloured shops? Yeah. Ah. Oh, and here you are on the right. Ah. Very nice. There is a church turned into a cafe and it is booming. Booming! Whoa, this parking, Ken, incredible. Incredible. Do you know what's even better? Oh, yeah, wood. Sick of not being able to find firewood because it's all wet in the wild. I'm picking up a bag of that, I'm putting it in there, and then we're going out there. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Wow. This is so strange. Wow, amazing. This is absolutely insane. Uh, I'm not gonna give any context as to why, but oh my gosh, how random that I'm coming into a church and having a drink. Well, this place is lovely. There's not all that much to do. I'll tell you what, the fish and chips, three out of 10. Yeah. That was not a good fish and chips. And how much was it? A tenner. <laughs> this postcard, however, that I've got for Lydia, 35p, bargain. Are you going camping? My friend, my friend. You're going camping? I'm coming with you. I'm coming. I'm coming fast. We uh, just had to make a pit stop because uh, that is a pretty incredible view. Scotland, the gift that just keeps on giving. Oh, this does look nice where we're driving into. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. And dad's found a doggy friend just running around somewhere. And this is where we're staying for the night. All I can say is, disappointed. No fires, bollocks. This is indeed home for the night. So, with the power of a magic trick. <laughs> and there you go. Look at that. Perfection. Monsieur Ken is currently setting up his uh, paddleboard over there. I've got my kayak ready. And I'm about to go for a nice little cruise along this beach. All right. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the sea. If I see a shark, please remember me. Now this, this is epic. Flipping heck, we've made it just in time for the sunset. And you know what I've just realised I've forgotten? The beers. So, you never know, my dad might be 200 IQ and may bring some down with him. If not, I'll be at the bar afterwards. Time for the grand reveal of the man of the hour. Here is Ken on his paddleboard. Look at him go. Look at him go. He looks, he looks like Tom Cruise out of Mission Impossible. Hey! Look at you. 
Look at me, you look amazing. Go on, the yeah. Now you've got, mate. Your legs look like absolute cement. Flipping heck! Oh, look at that. And there is Ken, riding off into the sunset. I absolutely love my dad. He's a fucking legend. Not bad, eh, Dad? Not that, mate. Not bad. Cool. What another good day. It's been a good day travelling, but it's been exciting travelling. What another good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready, Tom? <laughs> Does it extend? No, just that. Oh, that's all right, yeah. It's coming here. Mint. Hey. <laughs> It is very nice to get away from everything, just once in a while. Dramas, arguments, the world, anything, everything. Amazing. Now, no, my dad hasn't crashed his paddleboard <laughs> into these rocks. He's pulled up and he looks like he's got his snorkel to go for a bit of a bit of a dive on in. I'm not sure what he's found around the corner though. I'm gonna guess it's you jumping in. <laughs> go on there boy! <laughs> well done mate. What a spot to do it as well. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at him go. That's my dad, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute legend. Oh, he's found a rock. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Ooh. Tell you what, stay there. Oh, yeah. You ready? Yeah, you go for it. <laughs> Wicked. Help me! Help me! Save it, me! It will cost you two Guinness. <laughs> Can't get my work jacket on. I know, yeah, it's, it's just buoyancing you up, isn't it? <laughs> So nice in here, mate. I know it feels good. So nice. It's very good. You know the only thing we're missing, don't you? Two cold beers. <laughs> How did I not fill the waterproof bag with beers? They're in the fridge, mate. I had one job. Be the barman on this trip. And I have let us down. <laughs> I tip my head. Hat in shame. And now for my next trick. <laughs> Getting on the board. When the tide keeps going in and out. <laughs> Are you on? Oh, you get washed out! No way! No way! Just in time! You've left the phone on the rocks! Damn it, didn't listen. That is how it's done. Boom. Wow. That was in. That sun is, pro yeah, I'd probably say, 30 minutes away from coming out the clouds and going down. Could you just scoot on a bit more, see what's there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just like that, Ken is somewhere over there. We have left our camper van behind all the way over there. And we are out at sea, watching the sunset. Wicked. Oh! Wicked, I just love it. I love mountain biking, I love going travel, driving around and all that sort of stuff, but I don't know why. Something about being near water. It's brilliant, yeah, and especially with the sunset and views like this, I just absolutely love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I do indeed believe my dad's gone through like these little nooks and crannies that have appeared as the, the, the water's like going out. But the thing is, I need to watch out with my boat because he's on the paddleboard, it's only like that thin. Whereas mine is obviously much, much thicker and I have to watch out for little iceberg rocks like that. Uh, of which I'm pretty sure I can feel my boat touching 
uh, all this kelp and rock so I'm gonna try and sneak through there but carefully without getting myself stuck. This is now how I'm attempting to be careful. I'm up on my knees like a paddleboard and watching where I'm going. Um, I'm obviously wouldn't be crashing into this if I had both hands but I didn't bring my chest mount for my GoPro so I'm gonna try and go through there out the other side because my dad is just where I was. <laughs> We've just done a like a da -da 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 switch places with each other. So um, I'm gonna go around and get him. We'll call this a self-made chest mount. I've basically got my GoPro between my life jacket. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I tried. Dude, you look incredible, man. Living your best life, dude. This is one of those moments. Now, we definitely saw a seal then, didn't we? Where's he gone? Don't want to carry too far out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's around here somewhere. How'd you get a seal's attention? Hello! I have to go towards the front of my boat, Dad, so I can see what's coming. So I don't beach myself. Hey! Look at us, Dad! This is me! <laughs> oh, I'm going around. Oh, yeah, you have beached yourself. <laughs> Mate! <laughs> and people ask, how did the Titanic sink? Similar to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it's going to get harder to get through here, isn't it? We're not quick. Okay, Ken's lost one life. My turn to lead the charge. Oh, shit! Big rock, big rock, big rock, big rock, big rock, big rock! Whoa. Whew! That was a good avoidance. Bloody hell, that was massive. Yep, this is getting way shallower than when I came in. Oh, beach a little bit. Yeah, just going to have to pick my line. Okay. This is mental! Oh, I caught on something there, I can't see what. The keeper are going. Looks like a clear it looks like a clear path to me. This is hilarious! Really dangerous! Wow, this has got so much more shallow since we last came through here. Flipping heck. Flipping heck. This is madness. As long as I don't hear bubbling, I think I'm alright. Wow, the, oh, whoa, 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 this is shallow. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm definitely gonna beach here. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, that's me hitting my fin. Get me through, come on. Come on, get me through. Get. Oh, another, another bump. Come on, get me through. Get me through. Oh my God, there's rocks everywhere. <laughs> this is hilarious and dangerous at the same time. Oh. All I could hear was boom. I was like, oh no. So I'm going to put you under now to get an update and see if my uh, my fins are still there or not. I'm going to check the footage. I checked the footage. Can confirm I've got both uh, my back fins and my front fin. I really thought I'd lost them in there. When we went through it, none of that seaweed was like visible. So, because it, it, it's gone so much more shallow, the rocks have come out so much more. Flipping heck. Ooh, <laughs> love to see it. Unfortunately, it's looking like we're going to miss the sunset because the sun's going down just behind these rocks over here. And we need to get back because as you can see, the tide's going down and it's going to be one hell of a hard swim to get back before we get stranded out at sea. So we've got to go back before the sun indeed does come down. I better catch up we can. See, he's not waiting around. So turbo paddle mode engaged, you ready? One, two, 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 one, who needs to do bloody press up some weights every day when you can just do this? Woohoo! Well done, lad. Well done. Wow. I could tell you were racing at the end. 
I beat him. <laughs> it wasn't a race, you'd say, until he mentions the word, you just beat me, then it definitely was. Absolutely wicked. Has it, been, has it just been announced? What time? I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. I've phoned you a few times. Oh my gosh. We've literally just come out of the sea now. And Gail um, has just rang my dad, and I was like, but wait, that she's just like ringing and ringing him because I heard the phone go twice. And the fact that it seemed like such an emergency, the Queen's died. Oh my goodness. 96 years old. What a woman. I am changed and ready to sit out and watch this sunset because it would appear we have chose an absolutely banging spot to watch that sun go down. Everyone's setting up tents and camps and everything like that and no one's going in front of us because we've got these rocks there. And that is just amazing. We are really in the right spot. Senor Ken has provided me with a beer. I've got my tripod out. I think I'm going to film a bit of this sunset. And from that sunset to a cooked meal from me for me dad. Oh, looking good. Look at this. I've cooked him chicken, broccoli, corn on the cob. Cool. We'll see what he thinks at the end of it. Hang on a minute. What what's going on here? It's just a bit burnt. It is because I had a, a double-sided grill to cook it on. You didn't turn it often enough as I told you to. Yeah, right then. Anyway, I'm just saying compliments to the chef. I've taught you well. Hey! Why the nest now. <laughs> right, thanks for saying nice things as your battery pack. <laughs> That's the only reason why I was being nice. <laughs> hey, good meal though. Your chicken, your broccoli. Sorry to hear that little queen from. I know. It's a, sh it's a fucking sad, total shame. Hey, man. Well, you've had a good day. We have. We'll always remember this day. The day this queen oh, died. we'll never forget we'll this day now, will we? Bloody hell. Excuse me, what are you giving my food out of 10? Uh, <laughs> I'll give me that battery pack back. You don't need it. It's got it's got a cable in the back of it. You can't just say higher ratings because I've given no, you a battery pack. Nine out of ten nothing to do. The nine nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, mate. Fuck you. Kemper van food. Spot on. Get in. I'll take that. What? Bikes and. Yeah, that was like, it was it was, wasn't it? So. Guess why I just peeped you on. Find me. No. Guess why I just peeped you on. No, no. Where's all the pots just gone? Where's the fucking miracle? Where's the bed appeared from? Wow. Ha! <laughs> hey, I've had a night off. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, How I nice really, is I, that? I actually really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, mate. Appreciate you driving. Look at that. Made the bed for us. Put everything away. Made the bed for us. Got the sheet on. Pass us a beer then while you're there. Oh, go on Make then. Fucking hell. This is the day of looking after Kenneth, isn't it? Bleeding Nora. This is what we call a late night walk <laughs> with Tom and Ken. Last time we did it, fuck, what was that? What was that? Sounded like a bloody monster. Last, oh, it's a seagull. <laughs> Last time we did this, um, we found crabs. So we're just walking along the beach, but before, like, the camper van's over there in the distance, if you can see it where it's reflecting light, but the sea was right along the edge. Look how far we're walking out right now. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy how far it is. Hey, put your torch across it. What, can you? Oh, I know. Oh, it's a beam light it. Yeah, it's crazy. I can't believe how far out it is. Wait, what is that? There's no way we've just found an eel. Yeah. You kidding me? What? Come here. It's freaking like. Wow! Have we really just found an eel? Oh look, it's yeah. Or is it a sardine? It kind of looks like a, a sardine. Yeah, it's a silverfish, isn't it? Um, wow! Is white it bait? Oh, yeah! It's white bait. Oh, isn't wow. It's what you normally eat in the restaurant. It's white bait. We've eaten a fair. Oh, is it going? Go on, mate. That's been frightened up on the beach. Go on. 
No way, as if we just found a fish. There's another one there. Oh, oh no, that's one of them worms. That's the worm, dig it up. That's the thing that does it in the, oh, on the sea. No, it's not oh, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Tom and Ken, natural sea explorers. Do you know what? Ooh, look at that. I'm guessing they're as, silver as, fish. As, as if our second day of hunting or our second time hunting on the beach we've actually caught something I think incredible i think it's white bait anybody i would us? almost agree with you that that looks like white bait white bait Ooh -ah. look at this guy he doesn't think i can see him look at him hello Tom. Found a good one. <gasps> no you did not dad <laughs> wow Found a good one. wait this might not look like a crab but it actually is look <laughs> meet your meet your father e your, e e yours is e way e bigger e than mine hello come down <laughs> Man, I'll just dig itself in, I think. Hello. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the size of that one. Look at him. Whoa, what is that? There's two crabs down there. Dad. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. Right. No, no, no. Dad, this thing's like glowing white. What have you found? Look at that. What is it? It's a piece of kelp wrong it. Yeah. There oh, they go. See it. Whoa. That, see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now you've found the biggest fish and the biggest crab. Oh, Tom, the biggest fish and the biggest crab in it. <laughs> that big <of> crab. <laughs> Can you see it? No, I can't, mate. I can't get out that deep near you. I've only got little legs. So, me and my dad are having a bit of a crab off, and I've managed to find one, two, three, four, five, six. I counted nine before, but they're all just getting away from me as I'm trying to film. Mate, this is mad. They're everywhere. Good adventure. The crab king himself <laughs> and the bear king. And there you go, another night and we're winding down. Oh, look at that, he's got me a bucket of water to wash my feet in. Oh, and it's warm. Oh, he does spoil me. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The next day. Oh. Good morning and welcome to a Friday in the day of life of Tom and Ken. Mr. Ken Dodd is indeed preparing a cup of tea and some cereal and this is our view to wake up to i'm staying in bed cozy time for a nice little morning walk with me and dad i have to say oh, I've, I got, see. I've got i see a syndicate in the distance oh my god dude but well, here we go we're gonna walk all along the coast to the edge and have a look at the view come on wilderness explorer ken this is where the eagles live Ah, ah. Bloody hell, this looks like everything in my Minecraft world. Half finished. wonder what this was used for. Or more so, why did they stop using it? Hmm. Also, my eyebrow is bleeding. Hmm. The adventurers have travelled a foot and a mile. And they have come to the tippy top of the mountain range. Wow. Let's not drop the phone now. Because that is a long way. Down. I'm sat on this rock right now, just chilling out looking at the view. And I got a phone call, so I just sat here, took it, and I saw my dad walk off over there. And I saw him wander down, wander down, and off into this grass. And then whilst I'm looking over here, just taking my phone call, I turn around, I'm like, where's my dad gone? Where is my dad gone? Oh, he's all the way bloody over there, isn't he? That dot over there is my dad. Unbelievable. <sighs> another day, another adventure. Hmm. <laughs> hey you! Look at that! Look where I found you! Bloody hell! We are all packed up, ready to rock and roll to our next destination after our lovely hike. I went for a bit of a kayak. Ken, what would you give our destination today out of 10? Pretty damn good. 10 out of 10, right? No, 9. 9, because we couldn't have fires. Yeah, okay, nine. And it would have been better if we didn't know about the toilet sooner. Yeah, we didn't realise that. Um, as much as this car park has been lovely and all that sort of stuff, there's actually a campsite right there with a toilet block on it. So the more you know next time. But this has been honestly amazing. Calgary Bay, incredible. I tell you something, I do like stopping off where we're going and everything, but being on the road is just so mega. You see so many beautiful views. <laughs> and look who's back.
quick pit stop because we found a beautiful location where if we walk up here to this vantage point and flick a right. Damn, that has got to be some crazy sunset tonight. Such clear skies. To a degree. <laughs> but that is Scotland for you. If you've actually spotted that, that's incredible. If it does just looked up over the hill and that's a deer. Wow, yeah. Dad. Well spotted. It is, isn't it? Well spotted. As if. I've just sat down to look that way. There's a deer there. And he's looking that way. Well done. Oh, go on then. I'm in my Crocs because I need to, easy access for every time we jump out the camper van. Dad's found another little pit stop he wants to check out. Uh, uh, um, this time, it's a waterfall. If, uh, if you didn't get enough of them in my Canada vlogs or Iceland. Wow. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Very, very nice. <laughs> I nearly fell in. What a man. He's climbing on the rock. Go on. Get in. Go on. Do it. We got a shower. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> if he fell in now. Sploosh. Cold. Yeah, I believe so. I love that mentality, by the way. Right Always got time for a waterfall. <laughs> Always. Right Look at this. Right Mate, this is so picturesque. Right Golden hour, Dad. Golden hour. Hey, oh, he's not giving up. He's found the second half of the waterfall that trickles off the beautiful bridge down into the fjord. <laughs> wow. Wow, Dad. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, look at this. Just look it's at that. It's ridiculous, view. man. Look, look at that, that. A gypsy caravan. Aww. So cute. We've not broke down. Ken's spotted an eagle he's in defence to him. He's two. It actually is. He's one, he's one set on the post. Mm. And one, two, three, four posts along to your right. Yep. There's one there. And then there's one, one two, along three, the water's four edge. Four posts. Yeah, I see it. In between four Good spot, Dad. Posts. It's there. Good spot. No You'll way! There's three. There's three. There's three. Wow, this place is insane! What? Wow. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Do you know the way to the bar? <laughs> they were already running before we got here. The location we're at right now might be the best road I've ever been on in Scotland for like nature and views. The views are incredible. Like this is insane. Welcome to Vilva Ferry. Ulver. Oh, Ulver Ferry. Ulver Ferry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And would you look at that? We found a place to camp for the night with power, water, and um, a mega view. Look at this. Amazing, absolutely brilliant. Like we just love this area because everywhere we go, we just keep seeing more and more nature. That this spot here just screams absolute perfection. And if we get the kayaks in here tomorrow, we can go all around these little islands and stuff that they've got. Mega. From one hell of a view to one hell of a cheers to Ken. Cheers. The camper van driving king. Okay, I'm just gonna sit over here and wait for you to give me a compliment. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. I can set up a I can set up a time lapse. You know, I've got that on my camera. You'll need to. <laughs> it might take a while. Cheers, Dad's had, Dad's cooked up pasta. Oh, cheers, mate. Dad's cooked up a pasta dish for himself, and I've cooked myself up like a little noodle bowl: eggs, sausages, and noodles. Who because... cooked that sausage? Oh, okay. Who cooked the sausage for you? You did. Did you thank me? Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, Tom. Where's my compliment now? I'm thinking about which one to give you. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Dinner in the van was lovely, but we're outside now looking at the view with a lovely glass of wine. And my uh, dad's demanded that I come with him, so I'm going to follow him now. Oh my God. There's no way. Oh. <gasps> That camera does not do it justice. Holy shit. I do not think this is helping you see me. Oh my. That is one of the clearest moons I have ever seen in my life. That is one of the clearest moons I've ever seen. You got it? Yeah. That sunset is beautiful, but that moonrise is something else. You just can't capture it on camera. It doesn't do it any justice whatsoever. Dad got a bit excited looking for deer. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've just spilt your wine. You've, oh, Dude, you... I thought it was empty. Oh, my God. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> Look at it. I can't. Wait, before, after. <laughs> I don't mind that. It's the wine that's the problem. <laughs> he, he literally just said to me, he said, he went, hold that for me. And I thought it was just the empty glass. So I went like that. And I just dropped his entire <laughs> wine. <laughs> you prefer me white or brown? <laughs> Oh, I don't know, mate. It's a fashion statement. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the wine. Oh, God. We've now found ourselves on a little jetty, checking out all the boats. That one looks like a stealth mission boat. But look at that. The moon on the water. And Dad's just in, in awe of what he can find. <laughs> That's a bit of kit, isn't it? Okay, from the docks on the ocean to... There's no way. Just take off the box, you know? Where? Alpha come here. One, two, three, four. Move the torch a bit. There. No, uh, yeah, move it. What is it? House Martin in the tail of the fucking Yeah, but I don't know what an house Martin is. You don't know what an house Martin is? <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate, you're talking about being disappointed. So like I told you I don't... Do you know what a swallow is? <laughs> yeah. They're the same as a swallow, but house Martin is the nest. Wait, so that's a house mark? That, <laughs> joking. Oh my god! I told you. Shh, don't disturb. If there's one thing I haven't got yet in my life is the fascination with bird watching. Okay. I told See, you, like big okay. falcons See, and eagles. On the floor. You know, there's a nest in the crap on the floor. Smart. Look, they made that nest from mud. Look, and bits of straw. And there's one, two, three. Brilliant! Four. This is a video for the history books. For the first time on this trip, we can press this button and we've got full electricity in the. Ooh. Oh my god! Dad, we can charge all the devices! No, we can't. <laughs> you ain't. <laughs> I'm charging my bastard watch my phone, that's all I need to do. Diamond, so this is, this is... Qualification records. What does it say? British Sub Aqua Club. Yeah, qualification records. Right, so let's go here. Let's have a see. This is all you need to tip for sat, do this, yeah. that, do that. And, we expect you to do this. No jumping, no. Oh, <gasps> no way! There's my phone. No me. way! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How old are you there? 1974. So I would have been. <laughs> 20. 55. 19. Oh my God, look at you, mate. That's me, mate. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go back to that. Amazing. Is this where you've dove? Yeah, dive, dive, not dove. Dive, dive, yeah. July 28, 74. No Dude. way. 75. 77. 77. Dive's details. First dive, visibility about 12 feet. Yeah. Blue, dive in plane. Yeah, dive in a plane, yeah. They're really? Plane. Yeah, there's a plane at the bottom of the reservoir. No way. Yeah, they put a plane, a quarry it was actually. Yeah, there's a quarry what? there. What? Let's come a bit further forward to where we are now. Let's go, um, let's see. Ronda. Albania. Sound of Mull. Sound of Mull. What? Right. Yeah. That's yeah. here. 140 foot. What year? What date? Oh, it says it there, it says it there. Sideways, 79. Yeah. I was in 1979, I dove, dove, dived 144 <gasps> on the Ronda. No way. That was a shipwreck, that. If you, if you yeah. Google the Ronda, yeah? Go on, and you Large said... Large wreck. Vertical. What I, I was a shipwright, mate. Lots of colour search in kelp. Yeah, I thought you were oh, searching kelp for wreck. No luck. No luck. Go deep down. Oh, you didn't find it. it. Yeah. Decompression five minutes. Yeah, wow. decompression five minutes on the way up, yeah. Found boat. Um the name Auburn. of it. Auburn here. Yeah. In Mull again. In How Mull. have you just opened this and you've been diving here? Yeah, well, I told you that's why I brought it, yeah. They're all mull. They're all mull, yeah. That, that yeah, yeah. By the way, you've you no no, you've drawn that. Look. Yeah. Um uh Isle Isle east of Tobermory on Calve Island sheds sea and you've drawn a little shed at the sea <laughs> no way where are you looking at? big you've drawn a little shed 
<laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said first yeah, yeah. class dive, yeah. large wreck, half intact, with anchor out, rock face, very steep, yeah. muddy bottom, found brick, Arkington. Accrington. Accrington Stanley. It should, should have been Accrington. Accrington Stanley. Accrington Brick. That's Shamal Sheikh. That's Red Sea Dive Club. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. I might not give any descriptions on here, but 2003. What's that one here? Could you still go diving now? Yeah, it does go, yeah. Would you? Yeah, 2003. Look at that one. The 3rd of the 12th, 2003. What was that day? Red Sea Diving. 19th of the 3rd, 3rd 12th. You went for 58 minutes? Is that sorry? Is that 58 minutes? 48 minutes, it said, doesn't it? Well, that first one says 41 and 40, 58. It says you went 18 metres for 58 minutes and 23 metres for 41 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Wait, yeah. so if I, if I went and got my diver's licence, we could go diving? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got to get that done, aren't huh, then? Yeah, yeah. Fucking okay, hell. What's this one here? Irish. 1980s, yeah, it says Irish. 79. Pretty sure I could It's membership. I'm an Irish, though. That's me, uh, me old addressing you. Probably renewing it for three. So it's just four, so <laughs> Jesus. So. Man like Ken. I can't believe it. I'm out of bed before you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, I've yeah. just got woken up by oh. the car park attendant man who's just uh, charged us £21 for staying here for the night, so not bad. The tide has gone out quite a bit, and this place is looking mighty fine. Yeah. I'm sat here chilling. What's your name again? Fergus. Fergus. Nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> it's just come over. We're talking about going doing a boat trip, and we're like... Oh, we haven't got any food, we haven't got this, we haven't got anything. You can put it away, all right? And Fergus is just like, I'm the guy who works over on the boat, saw your Twitter, your Instagram, whatever, and invited us to come on the boat. Mate, that'd be epic. Wow. You just love to see it, don't you? We're umming and ahhing whether or not we should go on this trip because apparently on the phone they said they don't get off at this epic island that you pull up to. So like, is it worth it, is it not? It's like a full day thing of like five hours. Fergus rolls up and lo and behold, the decision's made, bags are packed, and we're going for free. Go on the way. This is awesome. We were down here last night, drunk, looking at boats, and now we're back down here, sober as goats, and uh, about to get on a boat, actually, this time, and head on an adventure. I don't, I'm assuming it's going to be this one. I'm not sure. Absolutely brilliant. This is wicked. Island lass, epic. Oh, no, I love it. That's so awesome. Hell yeah. They're everywhere, aren't they? The viewers are everywhere and always surprising us. Best audience in the world. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let the day of being out at sea begin. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Apparently, these dolphins up ahead. There's something there. There is something in the water. Oh, you can see the fins. Yeah. Are they dolphins? They are dolphins yeah. No way! Wow! Yeah. No way! <laughs> wow! Where are they? Wow! <gasps> no way! Oh, no way! A baby dolphin. Dude, we've been on this for 10 minutes. Ken's having a bit of a cute Titanic moment up there by himself. <laughs> and up ahead, there's an entire, is it a shoal of dolphins? I'm not quite sure. <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> there's dolphins everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, I thought these trips were like daft because you wouldn't see anything. No, these are, this is incredible. Oh, oh they're everywhere. Oh, no way, no way. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. They've just got in front of the boat. Where are they? No way. No way. No way. Oh my God, that is insane. <laughs> Dad, are you seeing that? 
No way! How is it racing? It's racing us! Wow! That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen! Wow. It was proper racing the boat! Not a bad way to spend the day, eh, Dad? <laughs> oh my gosh! On the front of the boat, sat here, chilling out, tanning, loving life. Brilliant! After an epic boat journey all the way from back bonk, there, we've arrived at Staffa. Check this out. Talk about an absolutely incredible terrain. Look at it. It's just it's mad because it's just normal rocks there. And then it just starts becoming these like pillars just formed all around the mountain. Just another adventure that would not have happened. Tell you what, we've picked an absolutely perfect day to come here. Look at this. It's just surreal. It's almost, it's almost like fake. It's like we found like a hidden base that's been supported up by beams. So we're actually going to go into these caves and we can do it by getting dropped off over like a pier over there and then we walk around it. You see that like handrail and we can just adventure into these caves. Heck, that honestly looks like a postcard. When Minecraft generation goes wrong. <laughs> what is going on there? Like this normal stone makes sense. This, not a clue. And then with like a little muffin top on, on top of it. Yeah, the more and more I look at this, the more and more it looks like a secret base. Look how perfectly square that is and cut out. It's like it was a, a base that's collapsed into the ocean. Wow, <laughs> man like Ferguson is not messing around. Look at that, and we're here. The island lass, what a, what a beast she is. All right, where's Kent? Where's Kent? Where is Kent? Oh, Kent's there. <laughs> Mate, this is like something out of Iceland. Not bloody Scotland. Wow, oh, the boat's gone. Bye. <laughs> and then dad, the architect went, I need it to not go straight up, but I need it to curve. What is, oh my God, I tell you what, uh, I just realized how dangerous this is. Uh, run, run, run for your life, Frodo. Run, Baggins. Ready to go into the cave. The cave of doom. Doom. Oh my days! Wow, we really are going in there. Flipping heck. Don't lose your footing now. That's mental. Damn. <laughs> oh, wow. This is stupid. Wow. It's insane, isn't it? Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You're like a, you're like a big shit. This is going down, this is going down, yeah? yeah, yeah. Do you want to know the maddest thing? We've been all over Scotland, stayed in places like small towns. With no Wi Fi, yeah. no signal, dead yeah, yeah. to world. Yeah. We're in a cave out at sea. Yeah. <laughs> I have four bars 4G. Brilliant. What? I'm sending my, pitch, my uh, pictures of us being here to, uh, to Alice for Syndicate Original. I'm like, look, we're repping it everywhere we go. Hey. Oh, look at you. You do it. Oh, you do us proud, mate. You do us proud. Hang on. Get yours today. <laughs> SyndicateOriginal.com <laughs> Just absolutely incredible. Honestly, I am in awe. This has been the best summer holidays I've ever had in my entire life. And hey up, the boats are coming in. Oh, I wonder if they're going to go inside it. Because you actually see on certain pictures these guys taking the boats inside, but it's a bit choppy. Uh, so I don't think I'd risk it. However, Ken is risking attempting to fly a drone because a big boat's just pulled up with like, honestly, a hundred plus people on. So we have been insanely lucky to 
be able to come here right now with like hardly anyone here. Well, there was like maybe 10 people on the boat we were on. It was amazing. Like, look at this. On the edge of the goddamn world. He said if we went uh, like that way, between that island and that island there, and we kept going, he said you'd reach the, the, the tip of Brazil. Mad. Oh, it's all going off. Dad's flying his drone. Let's hope he doesn't crash it. And these guys are going in. I think they're doing it. Yes. Are you going in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you have big balls for doing that. Very big balls. <laughs> Some people ride motorbikes as a squad. Pedal bikes. These guys have just got boats and they're going island hopping. I can't not help think that as soon as all this water's here, this is definitely going to come splashing. Um, I'm probably one very big wave away from getting absolutely soaked and washed off to sea. Well, at least my dad can find me with a drone and they can pick me up. Hey, who needs a tripod? Who needs a tripod when you've got a bloody drone? Hey, so it's over the bloody ocean. Just took an absolutely epic photo before all the rest of the tourists just appeared. <laughs> oh, <come> <laughs> Look at him, he's loving life. He's loving life. I think it's fair to say, thank you, Ferguson. Really oh, appreciate yeah. this. He did not have to do it. We we're probably going to pay to come on it. But the fact that he's letting do, do it for free, big shout out for that. Like, that's absolutely incredible. Uh, I'll put the Instagram, I think he's got one down below of the, the tour thing they do. I will honestly say this right now. This is one of the coolest things I've done. Like, it's such a simple thing, but the dolphins, the seals, everything we've seen on the way, the weather on a perfect day, this is a... A, a really number one thing you should do if you are in Scotland or close to the Isle of Mull. Like this, this is epic. Thank you. From being inside it to being on top of it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you way. Okay, my friend, our time here has come to an end. We must go back down to the boat and say goodbye to this beautiful island. It's been incredible. I'm a, I've, I've been parched for a drink like all day, but I've been holding off because we haven't got that many supplies with us. I went to pull out my water and I forgot it's frozen. <laughs> so I was like, <gasps> so I'm having to wait for it to melt to be able to drink it, drink it, melt it, drink it, melt it. Fighting a battle right now. Not so bastard smart, are you now, mate? <laughs> Look at that. That boat is absolutely rammed with people on, like cramped. Whereas our little boat over there, the legend, <laughs> Taxi for Tom, <laughs> Taxi for Tom and Ken on the way. It's like our own little chartered yacht. It's brilliant. Here she comes, here she sails. The wanderer of the seas. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. How, how they have the balls to do this in between these rocks. Gives me PTSD to when we were on the... Uh, the little kayaks. boats and the kayaks. Yeah, yeah. You're worried about popping it on there, let alone a freaking boat. Here he is, our Ferguson. George Fergie, the lad. Q1 Island Lass. Don't want to break my ankles on the last moment, but our ride has arrived. And just like that, we're off. <laughs> Bye now. Here we go. Hey, I've not had Corby Butties in ages. Very excited, got our little picnic with us. Mm. What a day. What a day. And now for a lovely little tranquil journey across um, the islands over there. See if we see any more wildlife and then head on back. Oh, you can't write it. Port. That white on the beach seal is port. actually a seal port. Can you see his face? Come on, where are you? Oh, oh, it's moving up the rocks. <laughs> no way. That is so cute. Turn around. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh, and there's a seal in the water looking at us. Yeah. Hey, mate. Don't worry, we just say it looks a little pup. Oh, that's cute. The mummy's like, what are you doing? Leave my child alone. <gasps> Look at it. It's... No, there's one next to it, Dad. Oh, no way. There's two. Look at that. There's two. No. Little baby. Oh, this is too cute, man. 
<laughs> this is too cute. And just over there is a beach full of seals. <laughs> no way! And then pops it. Oh, they are going for it. Look at them scramble into the water. Action stations, action stations. Good shout out to the tourists. Look what they've just seen. A little baby chilling. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say little compared to the other one. That's a bit of a bigger one. It's a chunky boy. Mega. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, th that is the, is the adult. That's the bit. Oh, shimmy crickets. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Oh, that is adorable. Look at him. It's so fluffy. All right, Dad, let the chase begin. Ferguson has spotted. Ferguson, right? Fergus. Okay, Fergus, Ferguson, Fergus. Fergus has spotted a massive. Is it called a pod of dolphins? Pod of, yeah, pod of dolphins. a pod of dolphins ahead of us, so we are chasing them. We've got dolphins here, there, 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 and there. They're all just popping out the water. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's so many! Oh, here we go. Here we go. As if we're nearly back to the harbour right now and just as we come to shore look at them they're all just looking at us that is me in animal form just a big fat bastard there you go thank you so much mate incredible absolutely incredible I can't wait to buy you that pipe when I see you next I appreciate it brother wow that is one of the best fun things I've ever done in Scotland seriously I Highly recommend doing that. Amazing. What a trip. What an absolute what a whale day. of a day. Hey! Like all we didn't see was a whale. Yeah, we didn't see a whale. All we didn't see was a whale. Everything else. Tick, Honestly. Tick, tick. <laughs> that was so good. Time to head to the camper van, pack up and hit the road. I think we're treating ourselves tonight. Dad, going to a pub or getting some food out? Ooh. Because we have officially run out of food for the end of our trip at that point. We've eaten all the noodles, well, most of the noodles, the instant pastas and stuff like that. Um, we even cracked open the corned beef for the road. And it was amazing. It was just so good. That five, hour, that five six hours on that boat has just gone like that. <laughs> Zoomed. That, mate, is an eagle. Oh, right, There's absolutely no question about it. Chilling. That is an eagle. I think he's getting ready to go. Oh, oh. I got the shot. <sighs> I got the shot. Well, I've realised I have caught the sun today. Ooh, yeah. And we are arriving at the ferry port, where in 30 minutes uh, we're going to be getting on the ferry. I'll put some soup on then. Alright. Okay. Sure. Do you want a drink with it or just sure, soup? Sure, why not? I've got some I'll, nice just, I'll just have some meal. soup, please. And no bread. I'll go and try and source us a ticket. Well, we're in some sort of right destination because there is a lot of tourists, or a lot of people, hey, lots of people in kilts. That guy was brilliant. Just got, my, got our ticket for the ferry. And I was like, on the ferry, I believe there's a, there's a cafe. And he went, he went, oh yeah, there's even a bar on it. So I wait until my dad is the good news. Bloody hell, he's gonna explode. <laughs> You're not, you're not going to believe it. So I've got the tickets. Yeah. Happy days, right? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, there's a full-fledged bar on this on this ferry. <laughs> so I get to drink the entire journey for 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? You're the twist to it. Don't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've paid for the tickets. How much were it? 22. 45 minute journey and apparently there is a full-fledged cafeteria on there you don't want the soup then oh i do dad guess what ferry's coming in dun, 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 dun. it's a race against the clock what will happen first ken will cook this soup or the ferry's gonna start boarding 
Place your bets now! <laughs> Look at your little smile. Oh, you've had a good, you've had a good little trip, haven't you? There's always room for competition, Tom. Oh, he loves it. Look always, at him. I'm always ready for competition, Tom. Go, 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 go. Well, the soup's it. Starters. And the ferry is not yet. To be honest, Dad, it looks like it's going to crash right into us. Oh my God, it's a big old boy. No, I didn't real. I thought it was gonna like turn around or something like that. I didn't realize the front of it was gonna open like that. <laughs> wow! Amazing. That is actually incredible. Damn, son, that's a big ass hole. Ken, I found us a backup plan <laughs> in case our tickets, in case our tickets don't work. <laughs> we'll join the woman who just fell in. <laughs> she, she decided she's going to swim with us. Genius. She's gonna hold on to the back of the boat. Save herself a fortune. Twenty-two pounds. Man, the more and more this day's going on. The more and more I'm realising how windswept I am. <laughs> That's me being windswept. Banter. Hey, I tell you what, he's joined us on this journey. This guy. The entire way. Look at him go. Wow. Get him on here now. In. I'm going to take his photo stand. I got him. He's gone. Wow. Into the belly of the bear. <laughs> Beast. Goodbye forever. Wow. Flipping heck. Gosh, this is a, a big boy. A very big boy. Wow. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. Fancy. <laughs> Smells good. Mate, there's a shop. There's. A, look at this. Look at this. No freaking way. Ooh, what food have they got? Ice creams. <gasps> Fruit and fibre. Ooh, interesting. Fish and chips. No way. You can't write it. So, Ferguson, or Fergus, that we met on the boat today, yeah, yeah. long story short, biscuits. the biscuits that a long time ago that I used to get off the flights and give to Alice, and there was a massive craze about them. You saw them on it. His dad makes them biscuits, right. and they've got them over there. No way. <laughs> this is his dad's business. Can't believe it. What a small world. Wow. What a day this has been. On another boat. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Caution trip hazard. I can see why these are some of the steepest stairs I've ever seen in my life. But we're going upstairs. Do not spill this drink. <clears throat> to the viewing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow. <gasps> this is better than downstairs. What? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Hey, up. You can go higher. Wow. <laughs> Flipping heck. That's epic. Tom, <laughs> this is the sound of mud. I tell you what, it is sound. This is next level. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Everywhere I go on this trip, I'm just reminded of Minecraft. Crazy terrain, crazy terrain. Lighthouse. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting big Titanic vibes here. Oh man, this is... 
crew only. Hello. Oh, it's what? Warm in there. Wow. Look at this, man. This is epic. What is it? Oh, that's what's inside it. Is it like a? Is it? Oh, it. Oh, it expands into a boat. Oh, okay. And there's a big old, like, proper boat as well. Warning, morons operation with snapback zone. I'm joking, I know it says mooring. What's in here? Oh, what? Whatever's cooking down here, which I'm assuming is like the food we saw earlier, smells incredible, like actually good. Well, maybe, 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 maybe it smells okay, but maybe it's been better than, I oh, will, I can't even say that. I was gonna say maybe it's been better than our camper van food but we've been eating like kings this entire week. It's been amazing. Oh, that smells good. That smells really, really good actually. Papa, Papa Ken. What a trip. What a trip. I'm just posting. Look at this man. Oh my God. How have we spent so many hours on a boat today and just buzzing, loving being on another one already. Wow. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. I am so happy. I am genuinely, genuinely so happy in life, man. Well, just you say 40 minute crossing? 45 minutes. 45 minutes after being on a boat for five hours, nearly. It's going to go like bang. Yeah. <laughs> Take it all in. Get, get, do the eyes. Eyes open. <laughs> Got to get as much of it in as you can possibly see. Oh my God. Oh wait, is that another dolphin? Uh, what, is that another a seal? Uh, see, you know, we, we, I never want to see a heron. We're definitely heron down. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've just we're seen we're, 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 we're just seen so much wildlife. I've not even considered myself one for wildlife like that. But wow, just wow. I've rammed it down your throat. Fuck <laughs> Seriously, John, look, look at that. It's a, it's, a, it's a seal. No, Ken, that's a rock. Dolphins. Oh, no, Ken. No, Ken, that's a bird. It's a pigeon. There's a whale. And then today, it has been dolphin, 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 seal. Baby seals. Baby seals. Baby seals. Baby seals. Yeah, look at that. Holy shit. One last time for being in the Isle of Mull. Would you just look at that man. What a legend. What a legend. <laughs> don't drop my phone now, don't drop my phone now, don't drop my phone now. Eek! Oh my god, that would suck. How does this journey just keep getting better and better? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This ferry at this time is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Come here. Wait, that was wait, film, incredible. Film, film, film this harbour, will Yeah, well. Look on the chat there. We're now pulling into where? Oban. Oban. Welcome to Oban. Oh. That there is a Colosseum, apparently. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying, but welcome to the town or city <laughs> of Oban. Go on then, just one last look at the other edge of the boat. Oh, <laughs> look at these silhouettes. Oh my God. I need to get myself a proper cameraman. Not like a, not like a cameraman. I mean, like, oh, I need a camera, man. You know what I mean? Like the, the shots I could have taken on this trip would have just been insane. The iPhone's amazing. Oh my God, is that actually someone's house? That is absolute goals. You're not in the middle of nowhere. You've got a full town and everything you could possibly need over there and you just live in heaven. Wow. The ferry from Mull to Oban, you've got to do it. That was amazing. Amazing. All right, I think we may be parking up somewhere along there for the night, walking into town and seeing what a Saturday night in bloody Oban looks like. Do you want there, boys? And back to our trusty steed. Oh, she's been a good one. Some miles on you, my girl, some miles on you. Right, my man, get us off this ferry. Get us to a camping spot for the night where we're gonna call home and get me to the bar. And here we are. 
touching ground in Obi Wan Kenobi. Oban. In Obi. Oh my gosh, Dad. You like some hard. Thought you lose your bumper there. Wow. We're finally in Oban. Whoop whoop. Whoop 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 whoop. Wow. There's a lot of people getting off that ferry on foot. Bloody hell. A Saturday night in Oban. What does it look like? Fish and chip shop is rammed. And I tell you what, Dad, there's a good few bars. Oh, there's a good few bars. I see bars, I see pubs. Oh, look at that view. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that, she loves it. She's taking pictures as well. Oh my God, that is... Wait, why is this? Is that, oh. <laughs> I was like, how is the sun setting there? And then I realized it's the light. Wow, that is beautiful. Damn, son. Shit looking like a mother truck and postcard. Right, we've done a pit stop to get changed, get ready, and we're about to hit the town. And that is not a bad place for a view to camp tonight. But we've now got like a 25 mile walk back into town, so let's do this. What's going on here? Hi. Oh my, hey. Get your dancing shoes on. Get your dancing shoes on. Go on, give us a groove. Give us a, give us a move. Look at Ken. He doesn't scrub up our fat, I can. Yes! We're going to the pub. We're going to the pub. It's the first, it's the first, it's the first, it's the last. We're going to the pub. I don't need to see any more wildlife. I need to see the bottom of a, of a glass and a restaurant. But can we confirm something right now? It's going to have nothing on the first salmon dinner we had. It's going to have nothing on the steaks we had. Can you ready? It's going to have nothing on the ribeyes I cooked. Oh, ch chicken. I cooked chicken. Chi I cooked the chicken, sorry. I meant chicken. I did the ribeyes. You did the ribeyes, they were very good. Mmm. <coughs> Love it. <laughs> of course, I would turn up outside the only restaurant open in Oban, which is a Chinese, and I'm all for it. And I bumped into this guy. <laughs> all right, lad, how you doing? He's like, are you Tom Syndicate? I'm like, of course I am. Yeah. Now, how good is the salt and pepper chicken here? Any good? Yeah, that's what I'm getting for my dinner. Yes! Is it as good as a camper van soup? No way. Cheers. No. How was soup? Beef. The best. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I've got to tell you this, Scotland. Tenants. Well, there's not one that's cracked up to me. Like Carly. Me and Ken have got a plan. We're not going to talk about it just yet until we know what's happening. But how is it? it smells very good. Yeah. All the dishes have arrived, and so has the salt and pepper chicken. Mm. Crunchy, good. I'll tell you what. It is. Am I having a nosebleed? I'm having a nosebleed. Oh. I did say it was spicy. Fucking hell. I think me and my dad have just realised I've come to a realisation of I am very dehydrated, right? Yeah. On a boat all day. That one bottle of water that I've been sipping has been ice. And I've just thought about that I've drank no, no water all day. And I've had beers. No hydration whatsoever. I just started having a bloody nosebleed at this restaurant. My like, dad took a picture of me. I'm bright fucking red. Fucking hell. It's all falling apart at the final hurdle. <laughs> Wow, I, got, I was I'm all right, a bit more right now, but the room was shaking and I was very lightheaded, Dad. Jesus. It was me thinking we were going to go out and go and get absolutely on the town. We've sat down and had this meal, and both of us, I'm right to say it, right? Yeah, the room might as well be spinning because on that boat, rocking for five hours a day. Keep your camera, Tom, keep your camera still. It, honestly. I think like I, I just all of a sudden started overheating. Like that guy in that water felt super dehydrated, felt dizzy. I and back they brought me a bag of ice to put on my head, so I didn't faint. I told you I caught the sun today, so I don't only have a like dehydrated, sun sun sweat, sun kiss. You know what I mean? Wind swept. But we were gonna do we wanna go over to that pub across the road and have a look at it? Oh, We've got time for It's always time. But yeah, man, I thought we were going to go out on the town and hit it hard. And... <laughs> the adventure caught up with me. A cold night, <coughs> but if you are ever in Oban, it's actually called China Restaurant. 
that's the name. Uh, very recommended. Very good. Salt and pepper. I'll give it, uh, you know what? I'll give it an 8.5. Very good. Yeah. Excellent meal. Really nice. Yeah. Mate, we want to go for a beer. Look at this. It's fucking glued shut. Visual town. Well, I think we've uh, realised that camper van life is definitely for us. Yeah. Just, just, just went in that pool. I was like, right, let's just walk through it and see how busy it is. Yeah. Not, not even space to fart. And alas, for the last night, Dad, uh, yeah. we set up shop for one last sleepover yeah. on the Tom and Ken Epic Adventure. Which tomorrow could be getting interesting. -er. Interesting. -er. 19 hours later, I've made the bed. Oh. And I am. Chinese food comatose spilled blood from my nostrils on my pants. But that was a very good meal and I am knackered. So I will see you guys in the morning for the last day. And wakey wakey to another ferry passing us on by, which is absolutely rammed. But that's not where we're heading, is it, Ken? No. Hey, the last day of our adventure. see you again for a, week. a few days. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Hey, listen, man. A day without you is like a lifetime. Ah! <laughs> All right, wakey, wakey. I think I'm going to tell you what our action plan is today. So, we are leaving our camper van behind right now. We're walking to town, going and getting some supplies and all that good stuff for heading off home on our adventure. However, we're not heading straight home. What's happening today is the Queen's Coffin is being transported from Balmoral to Edinburgh Castle, Castle on the Royal Mile. So it's been transported along a six hour journey and we are only two hours from being able to see that transportation happen. It's like a big ceremony, it's like loads of police, it's like, you know, the, the family following and stuff like that. So we're in a location to be able to see and witness history. So we're thinking that if we go get supplies, hit the road, which is two and a half hours away, and we can see a bit of history going down. So we think, that. But I tell you what, this is not a bad place to wake up to. Oban by the sea. Gorgeous. You've got to be kidding me. I thought we were going to like a fresh sourced farmer's shop. No. You said a farm shop. Maybe, I think yeah. Fucking hell, Ken. I'm here excited for all like custom goods and sausages and stuff like that. He's brought me to a piss in farm food. <laughs> well, well done. Ken has to get the last laugh on this holiday. We are technically getting food from a farm shop called Farm Food, so it is what it is. You may have heard of Oreos, but have you heard of Porello's no. Farm Foods? This just doesn't feel right, Dad. I feel like I'm cheating on you. But this is not a Ken Cassell fry up. What have we done? What sacrilege have we committed right now? It's pretty nice though. It's not as nice as yours. <sighs> we have resupplied the key essentials. Have you ever come to Faster. helping gets things done quicker? Oh, look at that. Yeah, here's your taxi. <laughs> what a dick. Take me back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If we're planning anything, we try and park on the back end of that estate. And it look, yeah, look, this looks like people walking up to go to where we want to go. And then it looks like that's where we try and park up, if anything, which everyone's doing that way. This is the bridge. All right, looks like we are in the right location because there is police over there telling people we can't like pull anymore. But we found a place to stop that we see no reason why we can't park it. No signs. Um, we're in black. And time to go and watch the procession go past. Okay, so this is where everyone's walking up to. Cars parked all along the edge. Oof. It's gonna be a busy bridge, that's for sure. I think Dad said he saw the bridge and it was just rammed with people, so we'll be lucky if we get a spot here. If not, do you say there's one back there? We'll go further yeah, back and, very, and switch, yeah, bridge switch bridges. Have. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of people. people watching where it's passing through and look at this it's just people absolutely lining everywhere on this road because it's going to come across the bridge and past bloody hell that's what you don't see on the live streams do you 
no, no, flipping like heck. Vehicles, yeah, wow. That's a fair few, that. And now the crowds disperse. Flipping heck. Wow. Mate, we came at the right time, didn't we? Flipping heck. That's a lot of people. Hey, historical ending to our trip. Yeah. Mad. Absolutely mad. Yeah. What I, I, I say, listen to it on the news, it was like this could potentially be the police's biggest ever like, operation they've ever done in the history of the United Kingdom. And I can believe it. Flipping heck. Hey, let's hope the um, camp has not been towed. <laughs> I think that's what they call perfect timing, Dad. I think it's about to start raining. It is. It's drizzling a bit. Let's get ready to hit the road. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Montage time. <laughs> I tell you that right now. I think that's a Unimog. It's like a Mercedes with a truck on the back. But I'll point this out. Our fuel gauge is nearly on empty. I'm glad you spotted it because I didn't. Is it? It's not a Unimog, you bastard. It's a bloody Defender assembly. Uh, but yeah, we're going to T-Bay services where we actually went on the way in a week ago. A bloody week ago we were there. Oh, six days. Now, yeah. we are returned now to go to the other side of the motorway. Got a potential cavalry of sorts. <laughs> T-Base outbound. Oh my gosh, am I excited to be here. Caravan's left. There we go. Get up there, Kenneth. Get oh, up sorry, there. Mate. We're a camper, but we're not going to fucking caravan. All right, fucking hell, mate. Chill out, like. Chill out. I do hope, for the sake of my physical well-being, they are serving food still. Otherwise, Ken might leave me behind. I'll give you one job. Ah, feed me! It says till nine, man. I swear. I can smell it from here. Oh, it smells good. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I can smell veg. I'm hungry. I can smell veg and fun. Mm. He's excited. He's doing a little run. Quick run. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ken. I know, I know. Oh. Yes. We were here on time. We just were here on out. time. I can't believe it. Do you know what I was even thinking? I was like, Deflated. I was like, I was like, oh, what if you could they run out? And I was like, no, they've got a massive farm truck. They can't possibly yeah, no. run out. They can't possibly run out. Can't give me a roast. I was so looking forward to a roast. Ken, you know what's going to be better than this... cheese and mac, have not it? We've got it. We can't have mac and cheese, man. We just can't we've, have we've mac eaten, and cheese. We've, better than that. we've got to eat better than we've that. Eaten better than what that are we, week. I'm not, what is going on? I'm our, not the what are we having? At this I know. We've come this far. Everything is prepped and ready for us to cook some food. What are we having? That T-bone steak looks incredible. Too big for pound. Come on. Too big for pound. Buy, it, buy it. another pound. It's a week to cook. <laughs> True. Would an eBay let us down? T-bay services, man. Let us down. They're a far, they're a full-on farm shop. Loads of people going in there. Like you can see them going in, grabbing a, a, a tray, and then just being disappointed. Absolutely gutted. 
However, it's not too bad stalling nope. time because there's a 90 minute delay on the motorway. So we're gonna whip this together. We've got some steaks, some good stuff, and we're gonna make ourselves some tasty food, Ken. Yep, that can do it. is the plan. We will not be defeated. We have got mushrooms, we've got bacon uh, that we're gonna put the mushrooms into. We've got the steaks nice and seasoned, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like when it's done. On the last supper. The last supper. And rather than him cooking, or me cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. Correct. <laughs> we're cooking. You know what? What? We're cooking on gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh, oh no. dear! We've oh, resorted no. re oh, no, to no, puns. No, no, no. Tea Bay service station. Is that a heron over you, there? You may have let us down. Wait, is that is that, is that Ben Evans? That's not an Evans. That's, That's not an Evans. That's not an Evans. You it? may have let us down, but we will not let you let us down yeah, no, for making no. the most of it. Look at these. Ooh. Unfortunately, no peppercorn sauce we could buy there. We we're gonna whip it in with some double cream, and it was gonna be beautiful. But alas, we go have a sauceless steak on our hands. But I tell you what, Mr. Ken, Sound, mate. to well, say they didn't have food for us, yeah. we have provided and we have food. We've sorted it. <laughs> well done, lad. Our last supper, amazing trip, Dad. Yeah, amazing. Honestly. Really enjoyed it. It's been great. Until the next time. Memories for the ages. Seriously. Love you, brother. Time, oh, oh my gosh. That is really nice. We cooked the mushrooms with the tomatoes. And, and the, the bacon, bacon. rind. Bacon rind. Wow. With that's a bit, like a, that's with like a, a bit with a bit of butter in. That is a that's like a cheat code. They are that good. Wow. Alright, T Bay expensive service station. Hey, I tell you what, we managed to eat for a tenner each there, didn't we? Well there a you tenner go. Tenner each. Booming! Like Booming! A steak dinner for a tenner, let's go. Hour and a half to get us home and we are there. There we go, Ken! Manchester! Woo! Manchester, Ken! Manchester! Rain! It's I'm, Manchester! I'm, 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 I'm stoked that we're back so you can switch off, relax, and not be driving. I'm gutted the trip is over. But flipping heck, has this been one hell of a journey. Huge! We managed to eat for a tenner, but it cost us £118 to get back. Bloody it's hell! 55 quid. Should have got the fucking train! It cost 55 quid <laughs> at all. Oh yeah. Uh, my card got declined. Bastard. Sorry. Yeah, it stinks. That's the beef we've had. Oh my god, get me out of here. That's what Ken. I, when you have beef, take, that's what me take me home, yeah. country roads, to the beef. place I belong, in my bed, cause I'm song. tired, Ken Dog, take me home. Don't do it. Do not do it. Don't get emotional on me now. Don't do it. Don't cry. I can, I can tell. Listen, the sooner you get out of this car, the sooner I'll be relieved. I'll be able to go. <sighs> you mean fart? How long have you been doing that? Oh, very Nice one. Trip of a lifetime. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow to get all my stuff. I've got something for you. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got something for you. Oh, I get it back, do I? You get it back. <laughs> Thank you, I will take the trophy with pride. I'll All right, mate. Feed it, feed it twice <laughs> again. Again. Anyway, don't forget, breakfast every morning, <laughs> thinking about me. I will, I'll it never forget. Bed. It won't be bed anymore like it's been for the last six days. Oh, it's been cosy. <laughs> right, again, go fuck yourself. <laughs> what a bloke. Oh my god, I'm wet. I'm the wettest I've been on this trip. Been stood stood outside saying goodbye to him. What a journey! What an I've left my toothbrush in there. Bollocks! But alas, I am home. <sighs> and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, it is good to be back and it is good to be home. I hope you guys, if you did actually watch all this, first of all, you're absolutely insane. Uh, second of all, I genuinely didn't expect people to watch every second of this. It was more of a video that I wanted for myself as a memory to look back on of. This was an awesome adventure that me and my dad have wanted to go on for a long time and we managed to do it. We found the space, we found the time and we went out and we did everything. Mountain biking, kayaking, swimming, crabbing, getting drunk and just having so many fun shenanigans because you guys see my dad in the videos all the time. I love him to pieces. Like we're only doing one thing and that's getting older in life. So the time that I have, 
On this planet, I want to spend as much time with my family and my friends as possible. And after I did like my Canada trip of just traveling all over and just being, you know, like free to go here and free to go there, it was actually really nice to come back from that and be like, right, time to spend some time like with my family because you know what? I love him. <laughs> I love my dad. I, I think he's, I think he's probably the best friend in life because I look up to him in so many ways from being talented to, to being to, to being funny to being a great drinking buddy to just so many things he's the man who really does get shit done and I tell you something I love him to pieces and I love that he's helped me become the man I am today so more adventures may be planned soon. If you do enjoy it, leave a like rating and you never know, I could probably end up going on an international adventure with Ken and see how that pans out. It would have been really funny like if me and Ken went and did like an Iceland trip or a Canada trip. Actually, I've never been to Australia. So Tom and Ken on an Australian adventure in an RV could be hilarious, but at the same time, we'll probably kill each other. So yeah, I know this is me adding like a big ramble on at the end of the vlog, but i tell you something, um, I love my dad and I will forever be able to look back on this content rather than it just being sat on my phone with hundreds of thousands of other videos or pictures or content or anything like that. I get to go to my YouTube channel, search for whatever I want straight away and have a beautiful 4K video to look back on uh, in the years to come. And you never know, when I've got kids and I've got kids, you've got kids, they'll be able to watch this video and experience the legend that is my dad. So. Guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what your favourite adventure or part of the vlog was. And uh, more so, like, leave a like, rate and subscribe. We'll be back on track with the short random form content uh, next week. So make sure you tune in on Sundays for that. New vlog every Sunday. This one was late because I was setting off fireworks and it was all good fun. But uh, yeah, honestly, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Dad, get fuck yourself. <laughs> and adios.